everyone welcome to the sugar and crumbs kitchen well we've got a great live for you tonight um, but before we start let me just say we have rachel hannah in the kitchen who's going to be doing the live she's worked here all day a little she hasn't stopped and then we've got simon on camera who's in the same position he hasn't stopped either and karen who's been lucky enough to go home anyhow <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to Karen, she's not stopped Stop. cleaning up after me all day. <laughs> so we've got a great live, but what was I going to tell you? Right, what I was going to tell you is if you have any issues with Facebook tonight, please go over to YouTube. There's no point commenting here because there's nothing we can do. We've actually got no issues this side, but we do realise that Facebook is causing a few little problems. Having said that, this is streamed all day with no yeah. problems, hasn't it? Yeah. So. I don't know but uh, if you have any issues just put a link I'll put a link on in a minute with our YouTube um, uh, channel and just pop over there watch it and then comment over here so go and watch it on your big screen and then do all your comments on the on the Facebook um, Facebook live if you can do and um, got lots to show you tonight I'm gonna sit down and make myself really nice and comfy but I do want to tell you about uh, Rachel's class that she's done today it's her master class for ganache now Rachel's done a series of classes which is a introduction to wedding cakes which was all about buttercream and then she's done a, a, a was it your master class for sugar paste or was it no introduction to sugar paste wedding cakes which was amazing as well this one is the ganache and then you're gonna have a finale one aren't you yes. what's the next one we've got a um it's a wedding cake master class so it's all it's assuming that the foundations that we've taught in the first three classes that you're comfortable with and we're just gonna get into like contemporary decorative techniques for wedding cakes contemporary decorative techniques <laughs> you're gonna learn it here in the sugar and crumbs kitchen how lucky are you <laughs> anyhow rachel's classes are 40 pound a class they're well worth it there's been five sessions in this one today and remember the classes are yours to keep forever and the good thing when you follow any of the tutors in our classes is you can ask on the live so even if you don't watch the live you'll generally find that somebody's asked the question you also go into a private facebook group where you can ask questions there if you're not sure about anything um all the groups are fantastic they're private they're just for you we just like we ask you not to share anything out of the group because those classes are the intellectual property rights of the tutors and uh, yeah I think you're going to love them so you can still sign up for all the classes and um, I've got a class on Wednesday now my big cupcake bouquet class and um, I did that for 60 pound there's 13 classes possibly 14 classes in that class and I'm doing my final class this Wednesday so I'm going to be using our brand new nifty nozzles in there um, our brand new nifty nozzles in there I'm also going to be using blossom sugar art in there and I'll tell you why later and um, so I'll be using those in there and obviously we'll do some um, just normal buttercream rose swirls and gerberas and things like that and um, we're going to be making a 36 bouquet so those ladies who want to see how that's done go and join the big class and then you've got all your other classes to watch in there as well anyhow I'm going to crack on let Rachel carry on she's got lots of techniques to show you tonight free <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, if you've been in my class today, thank you so much. We absolutely stormed through loads today. We've done this cake, which they hadn't actually seen stacked because I had to finish this top tier. We ran out of time, so it was packed with that much stuff. Um, but I've also got another two two-tier cakes that we will be working on this evening as well. So we're going to finish some little bits on this um, and also do the other two two-tier cakes as well. So um, today, in today's class, we did basically lots of uh, techniques that include ganache. So it was all about ganache. We, we made milk, dark, and white chocolate ganache. Um, we used three different methods of covering cakes with ganache. So we did the Pro Froster, the ganaching plates, and Bridget's uh, ganache liner, which we used the square one of, um, which was the first time I've done that on here. Um, showed how to use that. Uh, we talked about colouring, flavouring, and then we obviously went on to ganache finishes. So um, you can see here some of the stuff that we were doing in the class today. Um, lots of quick and easy things that you can do with ganache as a decorative layer so that if you don't want to have buttercream as your finish layer or you don't want to have sugar paste as your finish layer, you can use ganache as a, as a third option. Is there available to you. It's very versatile and you can do lots with it. So we covered a lot of that in the class today. Um, thank you to everyone that came and joined on and asked questions. I know a lot of people were working today, so we'll be watching afterwards. Um, but just tag me in any questions 
if you if you have them and obviously you can still sign up for the class if you missed it well the good thing about the classes is so many of us including myself is scared of ganache i know so which is crazy because you just what, what was your terminology today <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Whack it and something or other. What was it? Slap it, was it? <laughs> no, I never said slap. <laughs> what did she say, Sam? Karen kept saying it all day, but my head's absolutely <laughs> adult. Have yeah. so. you lost it as well? Whack it yeah. and tap it. Whack it and tap it. I was like, I, I do the motion. I did. I did not say slap it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, any of you ladies. I who don't remember her saying whack it and slap it. It was no, I didn't because we'd have been howling if that was. Well, any of you ladies who are scared of ganache, <laughs> seriously, you need to sign up for this class. It's a fabulous class. You're going to learn everything. Uh, you know, <laughs> learn it. But Donna Jeffrey says, what an absolute fabulous day it was today. Oh, Just thanks, a Donna. Class. Um, so you've got really nice uh, people following at the moment. 220 are Amazing. watching. Harlem Horses said, fantastic classes. Love them both. Um, there we go. So look, there's lots of positivity. So I'm going to let you carry on. So, um, with this one, we pretty much finished it, but we, um, I just did some stuff after the class just to finish off. It was stuff that the ladies had already seen, so it was just repeating the same technique. So I did it after the class and instead showed them a different technique that I hadn't shown them. Um, so I'm just going to finish off this top tier. Obviously, the top tier is a little bit bare at the moment. So um, I have, this is all ganache. Um, everything on here is ganache apart from the gold leaf and the little sparkles. Um, so I'm just going to use, I've got this Squire's Kitchen Pure Gold Leaf here. Um, you didn't use the terminology bang, whack and wind, did you? Definitely not. According no. To Maureen. No, I um, did not, Maureen. That, that is like, I think that's slanderous. <laughs> and Donna says you've worked your little socks off today. Oh, I've not stopped, Donna. Yeah. In my classes, we always go through, like, I, I know I do talk quickly. <laughs> um, but... We go through them because I really, there's so much to cover on things and I really want to like, if, you know, if you dedicate a day to learning, I want you to get as much as possible and I, I desperately try and pack things in. We were a little bit late starting and I was already a bit worried that about timing. Fault. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. Um, we, just everything kind of happened at the same time, just as we were about to go live this morning on the class. Um, but yeah, so I was already worried a little bit about timing and then we, we sort of lost 20, 30 minutes to begin with. But um, yeah, everyone was super with breaks. We cut lunch a little bit shorter and cracked on. So. I don't think yeah. people are realised that. is still going for it. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> she got so, to the end and she's carried on all the way through from, the, from that show ending to this one. Started. Yeah, I've not stopped. I've not, not sat stopped. down. You haven't? I've been doing... Some, uh, to be fair, Karen did a lot of cleaning up for me and then... I was carrying on and she kept like glaring at me because every time she came and wiped, I was like, I'm just getting another one out and I'm going to do something else. I said, Karen, you've got to go home because every time, as soon as you clean, two minutes later, I've messed You're again. You're just throwing because... ganache about yeah. her, just... <laughs> yeah. I was like, as sure as eggs is eggs, I will not be cleaning up after you. She now. kept, well, the most of the worst of it's done, but yeah, the messy stuff is all done. Super messy stuff anyway. I'll still make some mess. But yeah, she just kept, she was like, just staring at me. <laughs> please go home i'm not going to stop making mess anyway so these cakes have been out the fridge for about 20 30 minutes and because obviously they've been in the fridge they're starting to have a little bit of condensation on them so that's perfect for attaching some of this gold leaf so you can just get a tiny little bits of it whoops and try Don't not to like any. sneeze or breathe <laughs> don't breathe and we're just sort of gilding those top edges. You don't need a lot. Well, you can use a lot if you want to. Go for it. I love those rustic edges. They're if, so quick and easy to do. If I could get sharp edges like that and have the rustic ones, I'd be ever so happy. I feel like we need a day together. <laughs> Karen cleaning up after the pair of us. <laughs> no camera, Simon. <laughs> yes, I'm relieved. So I'm just going around and picking out some little bits. Obviously, you could do this with using the lusters, but bear in mind that if you mix in the luster with rejuvenator spirit onto ganache, it just kind of sits there because it's obviously this the, the ganache is oil based, so it doesn't quite like the normal um, luster paint that you would make with rejuvenator spirit or you know vodka or alcohol or something like that. Um, in today's class as well, if you want to join, uh, Rachel shows you how to ganache with Bridget's Cake Room Kit with um, ganache plates and did you use the Pro Foster? I did, yeah. And the Pro Foster, there was what a else did you use? Um, 
and then we did all the decorative techniques. So we did milk, dark and white chocolate in there. Yeah. So we obviously talked through all the ratios, what to do, what to look out for. Um, we did a couple of different ways of actually making the ganache. So um, I can guarantee there's ganache everywhere. There is. Karen's done amazing though, I have to say. Like, don't blame Karen. It is pure. She's still Calls rough. of ganache everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's one of them jobs. It is the messiest job that I have in the process of a typical week doing a wedding cake. Ganache in day, or it's usually like half a day, a few hours, is the worst. It's like at the point at which you can get all the ganache cakes in the fridge to set, get everything properly cleaned down. It's like, oh, everything feels okay again. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's just one of them jobs that you you just have to accept it's going to be messy but usually i'm just ganache in sort of white chocolate ganache for under sugar paste but today we've been coloring we've been using dark chocolate ganache and so it's kind of been that little bit more messy um but yeah i did i started the morning out by warning karen that i was going to destroy the place this morning and she did say it wasn't as bad as she was expecting so <laughs> that's something but i did um I did bring three aprons today because I thought I'm going to have to keep having some outfit changes because I'm going to make that much of a mess. And this is the first time I've changed it. So. Well, while we're talking about your aprons, do you want to tell everybody about your group? Because quite a lot of our members have joined your yes, group, haven't they? I was having a look at it the other day and I thought, oh, I know all those. Yeah. So I see that you're up to 900 and odd people in that I know, group. so close. I, I love know, a round really number. Know. I love so a round maybe number. we could get up to 1,000 Let's go for then. it. What's your so, it is the Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hanna yeah. on Facebook. So if you want to, want to pop over there, the Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hanna, it, that's a free group, that one, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a free group. You can go over and join. And Rachel pops in there and does little lives as well. I was watching yeah. her do one the other day. So she didn't know I was watching. Oh, were you watching the other yeah. day? <laughs> so I've been doing, while well, I've been mad busy with weddings, so I, previous to weddings kicking off again in July, obviously I've had this massive backlog, which is why I've not been on here. Um, and I said to Simon this morning, I said, I feel a bit nervous because I've not been you on for ages. It's like, that, like doing it for the first time again. So I've had a big old break while I've been able to get through lots of wedding back, uh, orders backlogged. And um, yeah, so in the meantime, I've not really been doing any um, like demos or classes in there, like free stuff. Um, but I have obviously been keeping in there chatting and I've been doing like a Monday cup of catch up because Monday is typically my sort of getting organized for the weekday. So I've been jumping in on Mondays when I can to just sort of catch up with people and try and stay in touch. But it's just me chatting on basically um whereas usually um i'm doing cake decorating stuff and but they're all still in there you can go in there and they're all in the guide section and there's like a huge backlog of um like free demos and tutorials and not just cake stuff but also like about cake business so if you've got a cake business there's stuff in there that we talk about and do like um there's a business basic series in there to try and help you if you've got a cake business as well Absolutely. so Right, so my next question was going to be, and then Helen Williams has just happened to mention it, so how do they buy your recipes? Because Helen couldn't find the recipes to buy from Rachel. She did message, her, message you, but she's got a little bit lost. Oh. Did you just not respond? I couldn't tell you. The, <laughs> the last six months has been but a blur. How do they buy your recipes? So if you go to my website, which is www.macakecompany, so M-A for Marie Antoinette Cakes, um, macakecompany.co.uk and then just go to shop there's a couple of um, there's a whole host of things you can sort of get on there which are there's some tutorials there are um, recipe bundles there's like a festive recipe collection there are two luxury cake recipe collections and you can also buy the two together as a bundle if you want to save some money so if you click on each one it will I'll detail <laughs> everyone who doesn't <laughs> love a bundle um, Karen actually used the lemon, one of she the did, lemon yeah. recipes for the cakes that she very kindly baked for me for these. Um, so yeah, you can go on there and just click on them and it gives you a list of like what recipes are in which pack. And obviously if you want to buy the bundle as, as, as two, then you can. And what I will um, tell you is I've had a rather large slice of your sticky toffee, sticky toffee pudding cake today. Yeah. Oh, I think that might be in collection two, that one, I maybe. I have eaten one. all day, had no breakfast. She was hungry. And I was <laughs> angry, I was hungry. No, yeah, you were very <laughs> hungry. And I scoffed it. Uh, can't see what you I'm just doing. Yeah, it's heavy this cake, Simon. I'm trying to turn it round, but... Don't want an excuse. Bear with. <laughs> Bear with. I'll be there in a minute. 
So um, Mandy Harvey's going to join your group. So if anybody would like to join uh, Rachel's group, it's a free group, okay? And do you want to tell them the group name again? Yeah, it's just the Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hannah. So if you just search that in Facebook and go to groups, it should be there. Yeah. And then recipes, if you go to the shop, You'll see them there, and there's different bundles, isn't there, to buy? Yeah, just have a browse through. Um, I'm just going to, where I've put this ganache on here, just stick some of these. What are these, Carol? Look, Karen just gave me them earlier Did she? in the brown bags. Um, I don't know until I see them on your hand. Oh. I can only see a brown bag. They're like the little sugar crystal oh, things. The, yeah, they are, the little sugar I think they're called sugar crystals or sugar rocks, I'm not sure. They're nice. Yeah, they're nice, there's, aren't they? There's some um, pearls in there as well. There's the pearls in there as well. This one is just them, but there's another bag with these in with oh, a mix. Right. Yeah. You've got two different things in your hand? No. Oh. That's no, she's done the white stars and rocks down there. Oh. Right there. Yeah. yeah. So um, Rachel is using our Sprinklicious range to stick on the side, which is quite nice. And I actually think it's quite effective, actually. Yeah, it's just a little bit of sparkle without it being too sort of... You know, if you don't, if you want like something to just kind of pick out a little bit, but you don't want full on bling, it's um, it's just a nice little way of adding them in. So you're you using ganache there to stick on tonight? I am, yeah. So I'm just sort of stippling the ganache on with a little palette knife, really. It's just. And I love that colour, the colour you've done. Is that the colour mill latte? It is, yeah. So what colours are the ganache, Dawn Davies say? So we've got latte on there, yeah. and the, the white one below is presumed is just the white. That's just white, and that's latte, but more of it yeah. mixed in. Uh, Lindsay Pearson's joined, no group. Aww. Jackie Size has just joined. Thanks, guys. Oh, Gemma Louise Townsend says, Carol, I can't tell you how much me and my daughter, Neve, love the new Halloween introduction. Oh. We dance around like lunatics every time <laughs> it comes on. It is funny, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. And you're on our introduction as well, have you noticed? I'm like, do you know, I've been, it's been on all day, been but I've been day, not, not watched it because yourself. I've been like mad running around yeah, all day. There you go. <laughs> Well, when we do tomorrow. our little videos that we change monthly or, or two monthly, we like to um, keep the uh, tutors on there if we can. Nice little surprise to go check it out. Um, I don't know, Geraldine Allen said, I'm in Taquette's group. I don't know whether that's a predictive, uh, predictive text that's changed the name from Rachel's group. Maybe that's it just says what she called Tachets. me. T A C H E K S group, and she says I have brought I have bought her bundle chocolate Guinness cake. But I think she's got chocolate Guinness cake. Yeah, that is in that is in my recipe. So she, she it is just a auto correct. Yeah, auto correct, isn't it? That freaking auto correct's dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> we won't judge anyone for oh, auto correct. Oh yeah, she's edited it further down. God bless her. Even Rachel's group laugh out loud and behind on comments. Yeah, Nikki King's just joined the group, so you hopefully we might get that thousand tonight. Come on, Rachel. Mm. That would be a nice little cherry and on top. And Geraldine Allen's done another correction. And Guinness, <laughs> not guinea pigs. <laughs> I definitely don't put guinea pigs in my cakes. Why? <laughs> That's what she wrote. It's just not the done thing, Simon. They're savoury, aren't they? They're allergens, sweet. allergens. So Rachel's pay it page. I'm just going to say it one more time now, so we can get on with the demo, and then I'll repeat it later. Rachel's page is the sugar craft school with rachel hannah there you go the sugar craft school with rachel hannah with me there you go that's so facebook that's, a facebook. that's on that facebook is, yes. it's a free group so feel free to join that and then don't forget to get all your friends to sh join the sugar and crumbs cake community don't forget about our group we've got to keep everyone joining there as well suzanne maruth has joined Super duper. Yeah. So lots of people have joined. Will they need to be approved or will it? Yeah, they will, yeah. She'll approve you later. I will. Uh, no, I'll do it tomorrow. She'll join. <laughs> yeah, she'll do it tomorrow. She needs to get home tonight. But she'll do it tomorrow. I haven't, I haven't looked at my phone all day and I don't intend to be on it when I get home. 
So I've just added some little gilding as well, some little gold leaf into this, but it's just really abstract. You can just have a play with it and, you know, do as much or as little as you want, really. It's lovely, isn't it? But it just kind of finishes the top tier and ties it in with the bottom tier. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> what do you all think, everybody? Isn't that fabulous? Right, but that's us done now. We're going. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Oh dear, aren't we funny? Okay, let me get another one out. You caught me out there. I'm going to catch you out there, sorry. I'm ready to play your own music. <laughs> play the music time and we're off. Right, so this cake, um, Rachel used the Bridges Ganache and Room Square Ganache Kit. That's a, that's a very that. long title. I know. And then she got and textured it all. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna show you we've done do, this with it? the dark chocolate ganache. So it was a seven inch sponge within the eight inch square liner. Um, so we did that with dark chocolate ganache and then we've created a dark chocolate texture on the outside and we are going to luster that. Um, so I'm gonna have a little rummage in the old luster box. Uh, good question here. How long does a ganache cake keep for and is best to store it in? So you're best storing it in the fridge, so similar to buttercream. Obviously it can be at room temperature more so than buttercream can, but if you are, um, so for example, if the room is okay temperature wise, then you can keep it at room temperature. But if you're storing it, say, to deliver to a wedding or something, you can keep it in the fridge and it'll be perfectly safe in there. Um, but it will, it is a little bit more resilient to temperature than, for example, buttercream is. Um, in terms of how long it will keep, so ganache itself, so say for example, just while well, it's not on a cake, so cake isn't in the equation at all, ganache, once you've made it, you can keep in the fridge for a few weeks in an airtight container, you can also freeze it. But um, once it's on your cake, obviously the cake will go off before the ganache will, if that makes sense. So that the answer to that depends upon the, the specific life of whatever cake you well, made inside. the last class that you did, we ended up keeping a couple of your cakes in the fridge. No, it's when you come to show them how to use this Bridget's cake room. Yeah, there was cakes hanging couple, around for a long time. We kept there. the cake in the fridge for a couple of weeks, nearly three weeks. Right. And Karen and I thought, do you know what? We're going to chop it up. So we chopped it up on the live just so people could see the layers. I think I remember this because I was yeah. like thinking, oh my God, that cake is so old. I don't want to. Yeah, well, I have to say, we then tasted it. Did and you? It tasted delicious. So yeah. we took it all into the lads in the warehouse. So I think it was not nearly. No. I would say. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Um, no, I would say it was nearly three weeks old, but I said to Karen, you know what, I'm chopping this, I know Rachel said bin it, but I'm going to chop it up and me and you'll taste it first, see what it's like, now, and uh, it was fine. Before you start, yeah. where are you going to be working? Where so, would so you, could, so, you tell Because that cake's probably in the way of, if you're going to be working on that side. Okay, so where do you, where do you want me to work? Just, why don't you just... Well, are you going to work on that side? Or do you want to well, I just that? was trying to avoid moving this cake, but... Can you work on the other side, then? On this side? On the other side. Because it's quite heavy. <laughs> just, just, just tell me where you're going to be. I'll move now. this, and then I can be wherever. But while Rachel does this, Breeder Arnold says... I'm, I, I want to know what's going on here, with you? Want to move that Breeder Arnold so says, I'm really well it's in with Simon. Simon. I've stroked his beard. Are you listening? It's something know. about stroking <laughs> Simon's beard. Is all why, is, why is Breeder Arnold stroking your beard? Yes, Simon. Hey, eh? what's that? Demo, Dave. I know where it was. I didn't see a stroke in your beard. <laughs> and Raswana. She'd have, have a little side, and that's what it was. Is that what it was? It got to that. <laughs> Raswana says, Thank you, Carol and team, for the classes. You're off on SNC. Such good value, and Rachel's classes are always amazing. Ah, thank yeah, you. you know, um, if you think that when you go to a physical class, You'll be paying hundreds of pounds at a physical class mm -hmm. and you'll work your socks off all day and you'll be extremely knackered and you've got hotel accommodation and you've got driving and you've got all those other things to do. And yeah, you know what? You do go on with a cake at the end of it, but generally when you get home, you can't remember what you've done. I've done lots of classes like that myself. I've been tired and then by the time I've done it, I actually never want to do the cake again. <laughs> so the good thing about the online classes is you learn so much and because the tutor doesn't have to spend a lot of time chatting to each individual student, she also has time then to tell you more hints and tips, which is great, and pack so much more into a class. And not only that, the class is yours to keep forever. So you can just keep going back. So today's class was in five 
part, which is great, because then you can just go to the parts that, you know, you can skip a part, go to another part. So for £40 a day, sign up, girls. But don't forget my buttercream flowers class on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> I'm going to be in Rachel's class promoting it. Buttercream flowers. <laughs> Surprised you walked past with a banner today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I've just told you the wrong class. It's cupcake bouquet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's my cupcake, cupcake bouquet class. And we're doing a 36 on Wednesday in autumn colours. And we do like autumn colours. And Helen Williams has found it. She said, thank you, Carol. Excellent. So you're just dusting now, aren't you? I am just dusting, Simon. So yes. this is the Ruby Rose, I think it's called. Is it Carol? Um, this is the text that you did today in the class, yes. isn't it? So on top of the beautifully ganached cake that we did with the kit, we then did very last minute, well, it was planned, but it was right at the end where we came back for a sneaky fifth session. Um, where we just did this. Now the ladies in the class, then this had to set, so they've not seen me then reveal this. Um, but I have recorded, Simon recorded a video of me revealing this and I will post it in the group tomorrow so you'll be able to see just that little finish off. Um, but you can really see the texture when the luster goes on it. That's when it really starts to come out. And you're using the Ruby Rose Wonder Dust there, yes. aren't you? Isn't that a lovely colour, that? That's so nice. Yeah. So the did top you pick up the new colours the other day? Did the girls give you the new colours? Or did you no. just pick up, did no. you only pick up what you asked for? I didn't have I haven't picked up any of the lusters the other day. Oh, because know. I have well, you gave me a set of the original set yeah. of colours. Um so I didn't ask for any lusters because I'm I know oh, yeah. how to use them. Like and I knew you'd have them all here. I'm just gonna give you the new colours. Oh yeah, please do. I'm not gonna say no to that, Carol. You'll have to pop up to the warehouse and get them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna give you some yeah, you'll have to go to the warehouse. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure I'll get there this week. I mean, I've got to get there this week, but tomorrow I am in here with the new bundle of nifty nozzles, okay, making uh, cupcakes. Then Wednesday I've got a class. Thursday I have to go and see my friend in hospital um, because they're about to move hospitals with him. And then Friday, I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> And that's fine. Yeah. Sometimes it's fine to not know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they love that technique that you showed them earlier. Good. So you could go quite a bit quicker than this with this luster, but I'm trying. I'm not. I'm trying not to create mess. <laughs> so Maureen is asking Simon, can we have a close up of the square cake? What? Can they have a close up of the square one? What is it? Uh, oh, you have a close up. <laughs> Maybe I'm behind on comments, sorry. I'll just, oh yeah, I am, I'm well behind. <laughs> Simon's confused. Oh, well, I'm on a minute. I'm very confused. Sorry, I can't read comments and look at what Rachel's doing. See, I watch what Rachel's looking here yeah. live. I don't watch on the screen what she's doing live. Right. I mean, I the two the, different things. I can get a tiny bit closer, but not much. <laughs> I can't actually get any closer. That's just it. That's if you get any closer, you might get my fat head in. So don't. And then they said it's a lovely effect. But obviously, so. you can do this in whatever colours you want, or you can even blend the colours. So blending them, adding some gold into this is actually really nice. Um, Question: yeah. Sheila Harvey says, "Can I use Wonder Dust dry on buttercream?" I haven't. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think you can. Really. I, th I feel like it, whatever you use to apply it might drag yeah, on the buttercream, like so. a brush or yeah. whatever. But feel drag. free to give it a go, Sheila. We'd like to know. If, yeah. If it, had, if it had gone crusted over, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But then you'd have to dampen it or something, wouldn't you, to make it stick? Yeah, I'm not sure. Right. You could you could airbrush the buttercream with yes, the, oh, couldn't absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you could do it with the hobby core. Which should be great as well. With the what? With the hobby core, the manual airbrush. Have you not got one of those, Rachel? No. It's, like, it's like, I don't even understand the word that's come out of your mouth. The what now? Hobby core. Hobby core. I have no idea why they chose that name, but it's, strange. it's a manual airbrush. A manual in what sense? In How? The, it's like a pump, so you can use it for liquid, but you can use it for dry powder. Oh, right. So okay. you need a manual one for dry powder. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like... Have you not seen me on my introduction videos? Sort of I haven't... it round the kitchen. I haven't looked at social media for months. I've been down a wedding rabbit hole. I've not... 
been uh, anywhere, well, looked at anything. Also and says she loves that colour. Is it the mulberry? No, it's the ruby rose. What's the mulberry? Let me see the mulberry. I don't think it's the mulberry colour. I was just saying. This is definitely the ruby rose. Yeah. Mulberry crush. Oh no, that's quite a lot brighter, isn't it? That's more pinky. Yeah. I'll put it on so you can see what it's like on the yeah. on the back side. But it's not so pinky when you put it on, especially on the dark. Let me put it in the middle of this. I'm going to put a cake on top of that. Oh, it's quite got a purple undertone, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, which Simon and I had quite a bit of a debate on what to colour to call it and what colour to show on the website because you look at it one way, it's pink, and you look at it another way, it's purple. And when you, yeah. dry, when you dry dust it, it's one colour. And when you wet dust it, it's another colour. That's what's so wonderful about the wonder dust. You've no freaking idea what it's going to be. Why wonder dust? You don't know what it's going to be. You don't know what it's going to be, yeah. Bucky dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think Judas Lewis has just joined your class as well. Aww. Oh, Geraldine, I know the last cupcake bouquet class, but there'll be more cupcake bouquet classes, but just not in there. So I think for COVID, I actually did you all very, very proud to do 14 classes in there. I saw so many people um, doing the same type of class and charging for every one, even though it was the same one. And uh, I think during COVID, uh, for me to put 14 classes in there was great. So I have gone down now to doing individual classes, but they're 20 pound and they're great for those people who just want to start. So we've got the seven to 12 bouquet class, the 24 bouquet class, and I will be doing a 36 bouquet class for 20 pound. I just need to find a date to put it in in November. So I might even do Christmas yet for December. And do a Christmassy theme. Yeah. So um, we've got some news to tell you as well, ladies. I was telling Rachel and Simon before. So we are now the proud owners of Blossom Sugar Art. So we'll be making an announcement on there and changing the banner. Louise is going to change it later on. I told her to do it at nine o'clock. So you know I love the Blossom Sugar Art cutters. I use them quite a lot. Well, we now own the company, which is great. So it's going to be part of the Sugar and Crumbs group. So are you going to rebrand all the products no, under Sugar and Crumbs? No, Blossom it. Sugar Art. So I'm just going to call it S and C Blossom Sugar yeah. Art. And then people know it. what's what. Then yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to rebrand it at all. It'll have the same packaging, but it would just be S and C. It'll be it belong to us. And then so I'm going to be using those um, quite often, and that means I'll be able to make some little sets up for you. And we'll get the Creator Studio set back. What is that? Oh, you'll have to wait. I was going to ask that. I don't like to brag, isn't it? <laughs> so, Sheila Harvey is, is struggling to join your group. Well, don't worry, Sheila, she can't let you in till tomorrow. Yeah, it just so means just, that it's pending approval. Just stay that's watching all. this live. All it is, it's pending approval. But I think some of you have had a little whirly thing going round. Well, just watch the live. It probably means that your phone doesn't like you doing two things at once on Facebook, maybe. I don't know. But just leave it. There's no rush. She's not letting anybody in till tomorrow. Cause and I'm this, not in there doing anything. Yeah, so. <laughs> she's not in there doing anything. Get out. But they, and, and you can't watch a video because you're watching us. What are you yeah. doing watching there for? Yes. So, um, so. Because she's here. Because she's here. She's she's here. Can't be in both places. Yeah. So go and join it tomorrow. She'll let you in. Promise. <laughs> And can you, one more time, remind us what the group is? It is the Sugarcraft School with Rachel Hannah. Yeah. So Sugarcraft School with Rachel Hannah. It's on Facebook there. So pop along and join it. But don't have to join now. Do it after the live. You can't get in and Rachel is here. <laughs> you can still join tomorrow if you want. <laughs> it won't be. It you won't can join go tomorrow, away. next week. It won't week. go away. No, Rachel is not staying overnight. She only, only lives down the road. And to be fair, she's been on her little feet all day. Yeah. She'll be dying to get in her car and whiz off home and get in bed. We have. I haven't stopped because I wanted to get everything ready for tonight. Carol, uh, Carol came in and said, 
make sure you try and get half an hour. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just didn't. <laughs> so Maria Wilson, I'm not sure what you mean. Be sure they will let you in, Carol, as no visitors are allowed in ours. Oh, do you mean the hospital? Um, I ah. am the designated visitor. I've been going every day, to be fair. So it's like a four hour trip. I didn't go today. Um, but it's like a four hour round trip by the time I've done the visitor, visiting. But you're only allowed one visitor, and I am his designated visitor. Now I know, because I remember now, Maria's a nurse, isn't she? So I'm just going to move that, because obviously we've messed the board up. I'm just going to move it onto this board, and then I'm going to dowel this and get the top tier on it. So I've left the back, because you don't need to keep watching me. We're not going to see the back. Um, I'll just leave the back unlusted for now. So, Leonie, what do you mean, how do I watch Rachel's lives? Do you mean her classes or her lives in her group? Because all you go to is go to guides and the lives are, lives are there, they're posted. Or go to posts and then look at videos and they'll all be there. But she's here in the <laughs> Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So don't miss this live. You can yeah. join that one tomorrow. But once you're in my group, if you've got any questions about how you do anything in my group, just ask in there and people will help. I must be way, way behind on comments because Nikki King's going, Maureen McDonald, how much closer do you want? Right, so <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna whisk past the next 500 comments, sorry. <laughs> there we go, right, I want to speed now on comments. <laughs> the usual mess with Lester. Oh. Rachel. I know. I need Karen. Where's Karen when you need her? Hey, Mandy Harvey, you should never give the blossom sugar out away. I'm always using them. We're going to be using them a lot. So when you cut the cake or eat the cake, does the dust stick to your fingers? A yeah, bit. yeah, it will. <laughs> Just like the chocolate ganache will, yeah. and just like the cake crumbs like will, and, and just as you get it all slapped all over your face, yeah. it will. <laughs> I had uh, Rachel's sticky toffee pudding cake today, and that was stuck everywhere. <laughs> you went quiet. <laughs> I was teaching I away. She went all quiet. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll be doing some more lustring, so I'm not going to keep cleaning that because I've got a little bit more to do. But so, I'm glad you're pleased about the blossom sugar art. So I'll be working over there and I'll be promoting it over here. So on top of this, we've got a six inch cake. So Rachel, they're telling you to use some treks to use the board. There's no point. I've got more lustering to do yeah. yet, so I'll do it at the end, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll, There's no we point. won't get the treks out later, won't Karen we? has spent all day using treks. Karen will be having a fit <laughs> watching if she's watching this. <laughs> I left that clean. <laughs> uh, the new nozzles are not up for sale yet they'll go up for sale on Wednesday night so tomorrow I will be in the kitchen decorating some new cuppy cakes with them and then I will be giving them to um, Terry to take some temporary images before I pass them on to Simon for some proper images that's not having a good it's not having a good dig at Terry but Terry helps out for quickness and Simon comes in and does the really nice bright ones <laughs> So I've just, I'm just using nice these. Pardon? Okay, what, what's, the, what's the product? No, the, the new nozzles that are Oh, right, okay. I'm just using these poly dowels. Uh, Sharon Rowe, that's called being sensible. What is? Sharon Rowe says, would you have not put some parchment paper down on the board to protect it? It'll clean. <laughs> It'll clean fine. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short, I want to get home. <laughs> Worry about, about me. <laughs> a bit of tricks or vegetable oil. It'd be off. Uh, oops, there goes a dowel. There goes a dowel. So I popped one down the centre and I've just marked with a edible pen just where it reaches the top so I can cut. And then I'm going to cut all the others to the same height. But they're nice these ones because you can just cut them with scissors. I've just seen, yes, there's a prize tonight. I forgot about that. What's the Is prize? Is it the prize draw tonight? What did I say I was giving away? <laughs> Wonder dust. Oh, I forgot about that. You're giving some away? Yeah. Carol, do I need the nude nozzles for your bouquet class? 
No, you can use what you've got. But if you'd like to buy the new nozzles, I'll be very happy. I will be showing you them in the bouquet class and I will be showing them on Wednesday night. I think we've got Karen down for a demo. Well, she's ever so relieved I'm doing it. So. <laughs> she loves it, Karen. Put her name down and I come in and take over. She goes, great. <laughs> Lindsay Pearson says, give over folks, let her get on. <laughs> the board will be fine. I do have one of these boards at home in the grey, so I know, I do know that it's You do know it's okay. okay. Yeah. The new dust, says Lorraine Pye. Yes, I forgot about that. When Rachel has a minute, because there's pre-post, you remember, um, John put two posts in using my name, which meant he went into the visitors section. I didn't think he'd put a post on, so I went and put a post on properly because I know what I'm doing. So, so, we've now, so we've now ended up with three bits of the competition. Uh, Peter Allen says, mm, 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 I don't think so, Peter Allen. 25 Wonder Dust is the prize. We are going to be giving out quite a few Wonder Dust, but we're not going to give out 25 because we want to share them. Nice try, Peter. Uh, to enter, you need to go to the Sugar and Crumbs page, which is where you are now, okay? If you've already entered, please don't enter again, okay? You only need to enter on one post, please don't enter again. Uh, Antonia, just pop along in the post now. Ooh, I love this effect. So this is the top tier to this one that we did earlier today. I'm just going to check. I feel like they're sticking out a little bit much, so I'm going to... Take a bit more off those. So Debbie Taylor said, what is the clear plastic board the cake is on, please? It is a ganache plate I have with a bigger so, size. I have so cake. many ganaching plates that I, I often use them to just work off because they're well, much easier to I was going to buy the coloured ones, the pink and grey ones, but they work out quite expensive and I wasn't quite uh, sure whether people would want them. Right. But then again, I'm also very tempted to oh, just get them in. Solid pink. Yeah. Well, clear's gonna be more. Clear's better, so you can see when you put the top one on when you're using the ganache plates, you can kind of see the ganache through it and whether you've got it. Yeah. Ready No, not for ganache plates. Oh, for bases. Yeah, because you right. use them for bases. Don't I you? do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't bought them for that, but they're just, you know, they're, yeah. they're handy because otherwise you use the board and then you've got, you know, the board you want to reuse, but these you can just stick in the wash. Um, so Liz Bishop says. Once made, how often can you reheat it? I presume she's talking about the ganache. Yeah, somebody asked us in the class today, um, in, indefinite number of times, you can just keep reheating it. As long as you're not reheating it like months later, um, you can just obviously, I've reheated, I've reheated so many times, haven't I today, Simon? Um, so yeah, I've not found a limit. Um, I suppose it's possible that at some point, if you keep reheating it, it might sort of, lose some of its texture or it might go a funny texture I don't know but I've not I've not found like a problem with it and I've been reheating all, all day and routinely reheat ganache the pro the biggest problem is reheating it and adding too much heat in and then it goes too it go, it'll split and then you've, you're trying to reheat it but it's gone you've added too much heat in because pre usually when you're reheating it's a smaller batch because you, you've used part of it so you don't need to add quite as much heat in but sometimes people kind of still just whack it in and blast it and then it splits um so yeah that's more of an issue but i've not sort of had a problem with oh it's you know i've never encountered any problems because it's been reheated so last week somebody just said what do you have to post so last week on the business page we put three posts we should have only had one post but i gave john a little job to do Go and post, John, on why you would like to win some Wonder Dust. And here he posted, and then he couldn't understand why he didn't see it, so he posted again. Again, still didn't understand why he couldn't see it, so he went to bed. So I finished the live. <laughs> I, fin <laughs> I finished the live, and I went in, couldn't see it, and thought, he's not freaking done the post, I'll do it, and I did it properly, all right? <laughs> so we now have three posts. And the only reason I found out is somebody commented on one of them. So there's three posts and all you have to do is comment, like and share. You must like and share, all right? So those of you who didn't like and share, 
So you've got to like the post, okay? So get back and like the post and then go and share it. I can see how many shares they are. So if it only says four shares, they will be the only four people that I'll be drawing from. <laughs> if it says 500 shares, well then there'll be a lot. But you must like and share. So I'll only be drawing from the sharers tonight. It's on this page, Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nuzzles. So you need to come out of the live. Don't all go at once because we've got a really nice audience. Uh, and I will give you 15 minutes notice before I go and do the draw. And to be fair, I think it's going to be the end of this live because Rachel's got a lot to do. Not that much though, Simon. Eh? What? Not that much though. I won't, I won't keep you too late, Simon. <laughs> yes, you can still enter. Anybody can still enter. Tonight's the last night, so right up until we draw, you have got a chance to still enter. And it's why uh, you would like to win some Wonder Dust, okay? And you must like the post and you must share the post. You mustn't share it into classes and you mustn't share it into sugar and crumbs groups, okay? So you've got to go and share it with your friends, you've got to go and share it with the other baking communities, you've got to go and share it with, uh, I don't know, but please don't put it in the community group because we will just delete it. It won't share because the admins won't approve it and don't share into classes because we'll delete it. Because the classes are for classes. We don't want them bombarded with shares. Nothing more annoying. You pay for a class and there's 50 shares before you can find the class. You know what? Sounds like a terrible fancy dress party. <laughs> <laughs> so, go and do what you've got to do, ladies. That looks central. That looks friggin' brilliant, Rachel. Got a few little dirty handprints on there. Well, you would never um, notice it looks part of the cake. <laughs> Earlier on, Karen said that before I put some gold onto this effect, she said it was looking like blood was dripping down it and like it was a Halloween cake. Yeah, no, I heard her say that and I didn't get that at all. I think it looks very effective. It's not the and look I, I was going for, classy. but I didn't mind it. I don't mind it yeah. being Halloween y. But, um, um, it's, not... it's quite interesting. You have a nice little bowl of water there to wash your hands in, isn't it? Well, it's, a set, it's literally the only thing that's got me through today, that <laughs> having Karen on hand. See, if you hadn't touched any of those things, you wouldn't have noticed, would we? Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, no. I can't you should have left them. clean enough, that yeah. luster, yeah. But anyway, you get the picture. We do. So this is all ganache. So everything on this is ganache. And being done with ganache. Um, and obviously, let me get rid of that. Big yeah, smudge. Done. And then I'm at the front. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that just shows how easy it comes off doesn't it but the best thing to do if you see a tiny speckle don't touch it in the first place and then you won't have this problem will you but on sugar paste that would be a nightmare to get yes, that off yes on sugar paste you won't get it off you would end up making the sugar paste sticky you could have so I have managed to get luster off sugar paste on certain occasions but I get a cotton bud with some clear alcohol and gently rub it on the sugar paste and it kind of lifts it off but sometimes if you're not quick enough doing that it um it's a little vodka on paper towel might get it off, not on ganache, on sugar paste, but not on ganache. That better? Yeah. So just a bit of water with ganache, vodka for sugar paste. But even then, when I've done it on sugar paste, it still smudges it everywhere. Yeah, the, the deeper, more intense colours soak in quite right, quickly, yeah. 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 Get but me. if Rachel hadn't have touched it, you wouldn't have noticed because I couldn't even see it. Now, sat here. So it's basically just yeah, all my just fault. You. <laughs> Can't be helped sometimes. So around the back of this cake, we were just doing some trials, trial work with um, some different decorative techniques in the class. I'll spin it around so you can see, but it's not presentable. But we were just doing some trial, trial work with stencils and gold leaf, um, and. Yeah, colouring and things like that. So are those dowels ones we, we sell? Yes. Yeah, the dowels are called poly dowels and they're made by the original lady who invented them from America. So they're called poly dowels and um, we buy them off her direct. Um, easy dowels is the same brand. We don't sell easy dowels because we sell poly dowels. But anyhow, they're under the S&C brand because she lets you name them herself. But I just, I just kept them as poly dowels. But they're very strong, they're very good, and they've got little um, bits inside 
to get a grip. So instead of a straw where it's smooth, this has got like a little, um, what would you call it, Rachel, inside it's got like a little... I don't know what you call it. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Yeah, can it's, got a little bit, but uh, it's got a little bit to give it that extra grip, so they're very good. Well, it doesn't matter. But, but there's a reason why they're called poly dowels instead of straws. I don't know if you can see on the yeah. overhead there, Simon. Yeah. yeah. Whoop, that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just these little... So they've got a bit of strength in it. Yeah. 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 And they're easy enough to cut as well. Yeah, because the thick ones that I use on my bigger cakes, um, they you need like secateurs to cut through them, yeah. whereas obviously these, you, you absolutely don't need them. Right. Again. It's just const it's constant, honestly. <laughs> I'm surprised that my skin's not completely shriveled with the yeah, amount of washing I've done too. today. Let me move that. Lindsay out. Pearson says groove, so. I don't know it's a groove, it's like a, it's like, it's just a strengthening a little bit, it's isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. None of us know. None of us know what it's called. I don't know what his fancy name is, <laughs> but this ganache is looking rather good. <laughs> Why did you stick it under mine? That's the milk chocolate one. I know. Um, okay. Cake number three. Cake number three. So you've done all these in class today. So ladies, I've done those two. Rachel's cakes. done these two cakes in class today. This one was a deep red chocolate that we did. So I used the burgundy color mill and the fractal claret, a mix of the two, on into a dark chocolate ganache. Um, this was my practice cake using this Bridget's kit, square kit that I hadn't really used. I'd used the round one lots, but wanted to use the square one in the class because it's obviously there's less, there's sort of fewer sort of demos of the square kit out there. So we thought we'd include that because I wanted to do square cakes because those who know my cakes know I love a square cake. And obviously, ganaching is daunting anyway, but then ganaching square cakes is can be even more daunting. So I did this at the weekend and I tested out some of the colours onto dark chocolate ganache and got this lovely deep red colour. We've got some of the texture here that we had on the last cake, which I'm just going to luster. And then I've got some gold leaf and stenciling on this side and also on this corner as well, which you can just see. But it's really subtle. Um, it's kind of some of the details, are the kind of details that you would only really see once you got closer to the cake. So some of the details, like the gold would be visible from across the room, but as you got closer, you would see different different elements of the cake. And I have a top tier as well to go on this. So we'll get that dowled and decorated. Bridget's looking empty for the first time all day. Yeah. <laughs> so Elaine says around. square cake, scare her. I think this, I think this, I think I was, I'm trying to get the right word mm -hmm. out because I'm about to say square, square, every, square everyone. <laughs> so they, I think square cakes do scare everyone. I have to say it slowly because if I say it too fast, I'm going to end up in a right little pickle. They don't scare me. I love a square cake, but that I have spent quite a lot of time just practicing them and the sugar paste class that we did here earlier in the year. Was it earlier in the year? Yeah. Um, teaches how to cover square cakes in sugar paste and I have a there was a lady on the class today that said she'd she'd covered a square cake using that, the technique in that class and she was a bit skeptical but yeah she said that the edges were super sharp and it was really easy the technique that I teach in that class is the one that I use um, on every square cake that I cover um, if you look at my um, Instagram profile you'll see I do quite a lot of square cakes um, and yeah, I very much love doing. They do take a bit longer, and obviously you do need to have a bit of practice at them, um, but obviously it's something that I factor in extra time to do, and obviously extra cost in the quote to do, um, if somebody wants a square. So, Rachel, yes. what do you do to stop the cake sweating? There's nothing you can really do to stop a cake sweating, to be honest. There's things you can do to minimize it, and to, to sort of slow it down. So. For example, my fridge at home, uh, I have a separate cake fridge to my um, normal food fridge. And um, uh, it's not a special fridge, it's just one off, you know, any appliance place online. And um, I run it at the, I don't have it super cold, I have it running quite mild. So condensation happens when um, a surface 
that is one temperature hits another surface that's a different temperature. So hot and cold surfaces hit and then condensation occurs. So it's just the same as though if you've taken a bottle of water out of the fridge on a warm day, stick it on the side and if the room's warmer than the fridge, you will get condensation appearing on, on the top and it will run off. It's exactly the same. So people call it sweating, which is a really awful thing to oh, actually name, think it's when it, it's yeah. something you're eating. But um, it's really just condensation. And it's the same thing. It will go through a phase of basically the two temperatures then coming together and then the condensation won't happen anymore. So it won't keep happening. It will go through a phase of basically temperature adjustment with you taking it out of a cold environment into a warmer environment. So that doesn't mean to say that your environment is super warm. It could be, you could be like, well, it's fine in here, but it's just a warmer temperature than the cake has previously been in. So for, because of that, I tend to, when, I'm, when I know I'm gonna be moving cakes out of the fridge to work on in my kitchen, um, my fridge always runs um, the mildest temperature can be, so about eight, seven, eight degrees. So I don't have it blasting really cold. Ganache doesn't need to be set really cold. It doesn't need to be, you know, you don't need to have your fridge on sort of three, four degrees for ganache to set. Um, so I tend to have it on the mildest temperature I can be to minimise that temperature difference between the cake being in the fridge and the cake being in um, the kitchen. Now obviously the kitchen is warmer than 8 degrees but because of that I will then also try and cool my kitchen down before, um, so if I've had my ovens on I will make sure the door's been open and it cools down or I'll stick air conditioning on. If you don't have air conditioning get a fan, have it pointed at where you're working and just try and um, stop the amount of condensation it will happen so these have been coming out the fridge sometimes you can use condensation to your benefit like how we were attaching the gold leaf without having to introduce any liquids onto the cake because the slight tackiness that was on the cake from it being brought out the fridge enabled you to then adhere that gold leaf onto it so sometimes it can be an advantage what you don't want is loads of water pouring down your cake so just try and minimize the difference between the cake temperature and the room temperature that you bring in the cake out into but you can't stop it one of the things that other people do try and do if you're storing cakes anywhere is to try and use things like the silicon gel packs um, things like that to try and help um, sap any moisture out so that it doesn't attach to the cake if you're storing cakes in the fridge sometimes condensation is just going to happen anyway so please don't worry too much about it, but just understanding why it's happening and what you can do to try and minimise the amount of condensation can be a massive help. It does settle down though, doesn't it? Yeah, it absorbs off into When I do a live and I've got something in the freezer, unfortunately we have to run with it. Yeah. And I freaking hate it because I can see that it's like yeah. doing, it's sweating, but you've just got to go with it because we're doing a live. Yeah. But uh, normally, if I was doing it, I'd take it out and go and put it in the fridge to bring it down to that yes. temperature first. Yeah. And then, like you say, into a cool kitchen. So if you take your time with it, it'd be fine. Yeah. And, and just it's... understanding scientifically, like, what is ha why it's happening. And just leave everything. Don't dab anything. Yeah. Don't try and dab, like, dry it off with anything. Um, it will, obviously, it's just moisture, so it will then just evaporate off eventually. It's not going to keep producing condensation non-stop it will go through a cycle and once once it's adjusted to its new temperature the condensation just won't form anymore obviously if you're then moving it back into a chilled area bringing it back out again each time you do that condensation will form again and um, if you're working in and out the fridge but just just be aware of it and like on a hot day for me um, I won't I will have my cake on the mildest temperature possible rather than really cold and I'll really chill my room down so I'm quite used to quite cold temperatures now and my husband will come down and we have aircon in the kitchen because of the cakes and he'll come down and he'll be like it's so cold in here and I'm like I'm fine <laughs> like I've just like acclimatized to the air the colder temperature but um just it just helps because obviously once once condensation does form, particularly if you're, many of you will have experienced perhaps if you brought a cake out the fridge and you're covering it with sugar paste, obviously that condensation then happening in the layer between your cake and the sugar paste starts to soak into the sugar paste, which is pretty much pure sugar. And obviously you know what happens when water and sugar mix, things become tacky and it yeah. becomes difficult to handle. So it, it shortens the amount of handling time you have with your cake scissors sorry <laughs> no you go for it <laughs> i'm not taking it home with me <laughs> 
So I'm just going to pop some dowels into this one and get this top tier on. So this one's a really pale pink. I don't know if you can see that on the um, it looks lovely. on the camera, but it's a really pale pink that I just used. The We've got a great mill. audience tonight. So I think a few people are disappearing to go and do the competition. And it's really nice to see that we're not having much trouble with Facebook tonight. What's been so, going on with it? Is it just because it went down no, the other week? No, it went down the other week. Yeah. Well, since then, there's loads of glitches. Like, oh, you can't see the comments unless you keep tapping the screen. So when you see, oh, this, when you see the comments and then they disappear after two, you've got to tap the screen to see all the other comments. Oh. And then it keeps doing an intermittent, but it hasn't done it tonight. And nobody seems to be complaining. Or maybe they've all shut up because I told them to stop moaning. One or two said they'd come over to Facebook. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. yeah. I saw one or two saying it was playing up, but um, but I told them all got to stop moaning because you tutors spend a lot of time getting prepped for the class, travelling, being here for two hours, cleaning up afterwards, and they've only <laughs> got to sit on their set here and watch. Yeah, it's not too stop much of a hardship, is it? Is it? <laughs> I'll be pooped tomorrow. I've got a light day tomorrow oh, planned yeah. in. I always do after them because it does, it is knackering. Like I love doing it, but it is exhausting. You know, it's full on because you're it's just you on screen all day and it's, yeah. it's more like head, you know, yeah. <laughs> you're probably just used to it because you've done that many over the last 18 months through COVID and everything, aren't you? Oh, Kit Curry said it was playing up today, but she never complained. Good girl, Kit. Oh, was it Kit on the class? Oh. And Dawn Davies says, FBS been a bit dodgy, but it's just for a split second. Oh, did, did, yeah. did we know that, Simon? We didn't know, because oh. nobody said anything. Nobody complained, because you're all dead lovely. Nobody says anything. Well, no, but there's no. nothing we could have, like, there's not, nothing you could have done anyway, is there? <laughs> no, there's nothing we We were blissfully about, unaware. Does anyone know where I can find a guy for how much ganache we need for each size cake? Google it, it'll tell you. Yeah, I had this question yeah. asked yeah, in the class just today. Google it, it'll tell you. So if you get, Lisa, if you pop onto Google, how much ganache do I need for a five by seven, it will tell you. There's loads of people out there that have put in guides. It's the same as how much sugar paste you need to cover each tip. Now I said in the class today, I don't have a guide because, um, all of my cakes are different sizes, so I will do odd number tiers, even number tiers, different height tiers, double barrel tiers, and obviously the guides on that you will find on Google, they will say, oh, you need this much for a six inch cake, this much for an eight inch cake, and so on and so forth. But just check that you know what height they're, you know, what height cakes they're based upon, because the height of the cake can vary, obviously, as we know. And that can change the amount of ganache. It will change the amount of ganache, ganache well, that you need quite a bit. Thickness you want to do it as yeah, well, Yeah, it depends. It? So, for example, if you're using ganache in plates, I use the the point the point five ones. But if you're using the point two fives, or if you're trimming your cakes back and using the profroster, then it will all vary the amount of ganache that you need. So take always, take them with a pinch of salt as well. I always get that for the bag of icing sugar. How many cakes will it cover? Oh. Depends, depends what you're going to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> depends whether you're just covering the cakes or just putting the topping on. Yeah. Or whether you're going to do swirls or whether you're going to do nifty nozzles. It really does depend. So that's why I've not not done any kind of guides on it because as much as it might be helpful, it would also then you know you'd get people saying, "Oh, well, I made this much ganache and it's it's not covered my cake." Yeah. You know, it, so it's. And I agree with Dawn Davies, always make too much and eat the leftovers. And that's exactly what I'm doing in the kitchen. Oh, but I can't eat all this leftover. <laughs> but you can freeze ganache. Yeah. So please, yeah. it will stay. So you if don't you, have to eat it, Carol. You don't have no. to eat it, Carol. It's not for bullshit. <laughs> Carol's like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Must eat the ganache. Um, It'll last. It won't last if you, if you do I that. I don't think it will. Um, yeah, you can freeze ganache, so please She's don't... She's going to wing it. Worry about... Perfect. That's um, the right answer. Please don't worry about it too much. Um, you know, if you've got some leftover, it's better to have some leftover. Um, you can, it will keep in the fridge. If you wrap it up and keep it airtight in the fridge, it will keep for a good few weeks. And um, can you use the flavour shots in ganache? Yes, Absolutely. we talked about this today. So, um, did you use some today, did you? No, I completely I talked about it and then I totally meant to put it in. I was like, oh, we're going to put you some of these in. You did this to me the other day when I was talking oh, to you about God. it. We'll have to get you on those shots. Just, I, I used, I've used it in one of the trial ones. I used it at home to try it out and then brought it 
Um, I used the lemon one in some of the white chocolate and some of the... must be on this one, maybe. Yeah. Well, I've got no worries. I've got no worries. I've got Claire Corbett here tomorrow working with us for the day. Not that you lot will see anything yet, but Simon, Claire and Karen are playing in the kitchen. And Claire's just asked me to save some for her. Some ganache? Yeah. Just to eat, or is she going to use it in the, what she's making? Oh, I don't know. I'm assuming she Does she it. need any cream? <laughs> <laughs> You always I'll, panic over cream. I'll do her a good deal on cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, because also I thought I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do in tonight's live um, because I didn't know how far we'd get in the class. So I thought, yeah, I'll just, I'll just get some more. Anyway, I've got loads of cream left. Well, Mandy Harvey used a mint one last week in ganache with Oh, truffles. that's a great idea. Mm. So Karen Naylor says she's got some frozen, some ganache in the in the freezer frozen. When she takes it out, will she re need to re-whip the ganache from the freezer one once it's thawed out? So if you're taking it out of the freezer, pop it in the fridge to defrost. So um, obviously, the, as we talked about condensation, if it's as it's coming um, back up to temperature, it's less likely to form condensation if you do it in the fridge. So just pop it in the fridge overnight, still wrapped. And then you will need to obviously soften it, so you'll need to pop it back in the microwave. Whether you whip it or not is totally up to you. So um, if you remelt it, I've not whipped anything today, and I've been remelting things like you wouldn't believe. Um, so you can obviously whip it up. So the if you're gonna pop it in your mixer with the paddle attachment um, to just get it back fully blended, the reason for doing that was is if you're melting like a big volume of it from solid, some of it will melt quicker than other bits. So the bits that are more sort of um, open and the bits inside might still be a bit more solid. Um, so you'll have some bits as you're mixing it up, which will still, which would be melted and some bits which are still a bit solid. Um, they'll be softer, but they won't be sort of blended and, and back to sort of usable format. So in that case, you could keep beating it with your hand and keep doing that and, it, and perhaps a bit more softening the microwave and it will, it will all melt. But if you want a quicker way of doing it, you can pop it in the mixer with a paddle attachment and just gently let the paddle work out, work out those um, softened but not remelted bits. Now when you do that, you will say for example, you will lighten your ganache. So just like when you um, whip butter or buttercream and it, for a while it pale, it makes it go a bit paler. The same will happen with your buttercream, with your ganache. Um, but you are also adding extra air into it. So it will change consistency slightly and it will become um, a bit more airy, a bit more mousse-like. Um, but it will also, once you've added that extra air in, it will set, from the point you've done that, it will set a bit quicker. So you'll have less time to work with it before you'll need to re-soften it again. So bear that in mind, if you are going to whip it up in the, you know, melt it and then whip it in the mixer, whip it in the mixer when you're ready to then use it. Because once you've whipped it and then you leave it, you'll come back to it and it will be set, set up again. So just be mindful of those few things because obviously you're fine to do that. But um, yeah, you, you just will have to like crack on and get it used basically. Um, Claire Corbett says, Simon, mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> You told. <laughs> you bring the cornflakes and we're not the ganache, Claire. Perfect. Claire always comes in with their right, uh, cornflake treats. As oh, do you know? It's been years. So tomorrow we're not the ganache. You pick up the cornflakes, we're not the ganache. There you go. Match made in heaven. And Karen Naylor says, Thanks, Rachel. That sounds as though it'd be nice as a filler between layers. Absolutely. What would? After you've mixed it with a mixer, when it's gone oh, freezer. Oh, right. Yeah. When it, it's gone all like moussey like. Yeah. So it, it will, yeah, it will, it's definitely sort of like people like it because it pales it a little bit. So some of the yellow of, when you make white chocolate ganache and it goes quite yellow. I don't know if I've, yeah, I've got some here. Um, uh, this is another bowl of leftover ganache. This is the yellow one, and you can see um, this is the whitened one back here. So well, that's condensation on it. Um, so when you whip it and you or you mix it, you beat it, it will it will p go paler from that. And we saw that today with the white chocolate. And we saw it with the milk chocolate in particular because I was melting them and I was giving them a proper beat. So 
Um, but I didn't pop it in the mixer because it, it just didn't need it. And to be honest, it would have just meant that I would have had less time to work with it and then it'd be back in the microwave again. So I am just using the Whisper Pink on this one. Am I camera eyes? Yeah. Camera eyes, okay. So because I've got this pink topped here, I'm just, I don't know, you tell me. Doing this corner texture here with the pink. If you are using ganache as a filling for your cakes rather than a covering for your cakes, obviously the ganache um, ratios that I've gone through on the class today, um, they are for using your ganache like as an outside so structurally. So we want them to set quite firm. Um, but if you're using, obviously if you were then to bite into a piece of cake and it had that really firmly set piece of ganache in it, it would feel, um, that not that it's like solid or anything, but it, it soon melts in the mouth because it's just chocolate and cream, but you might want to change the ratio slightly for a filling ganache, um, and you can still whip it and make it a bit more mousse-like in texture, but you might want to change the ratios slightly just to get um, a higher ratio of cream than perhaps we've used when you're using it to cover the cakes, if that makes sense. So Louise Williams says she uses her leftover ganache to make chocolates either by adding Baileys Apple pie or dead man's finger banana rum. I've also used JD, Jack Daniels. Yes. So then I saw a comment about what is the gold leaf that we're using. Well, there's two gold leaf. So one is the Squire's Kitchen um, 24 karat gold flake. So, and then the other one, you can buy gold leaf. Now we don't sell the gold leaf, two reasons. One is expensive and two, I've got to be honest, I like to have a really stress-free life as much as I can. <laughs> and the worst thing for me to do is sell gold leaf and then have, have everybody moaning because some of it might have broken in the packet. It's meant to break, but sometimes people will argue with you and say, well, they didn't want any bits that will break, but it's meant to break. So I'm going to advise you to go to Rights of Limb, which is W-R-I-G-H-T-S, Rights of Limb. Just say Karen McFarlane from Sugar and Crumb sent you. You won't get a discount and I won't get any joy. I won't get anything of it. But you know, Same. it's nice for them to know where it's been promoted when you all go running over there to buy some. And mention so me as well because yeah. I'm doing it. So and I always order mine from there. Rice of Lynn, that's where I buy gold leaf when I'm buying it. I did have a load of copper that Rachel could have used, but she forgot and used her own stuff today. Doesn't matter. So you can buy gold, silver. Be careful what you're buying though because they sell the edible gold leaf and the non-edible gold leaf. So do be very careful which ones you're buying. They've, I think they've actually split the websites out now. Have they? So yeah, the website I is- I really picked up the non-edible ones. The website for the edible stuff is www.ediblegold.co.uk. Oh, right. So yeah. it does what it says on the tin yeah. because you can buy like the de the stuff that you use for like gilding mirror frames and yeah. stuff like that. And obviously that's not yeah. what you want to be putting on the cake. Yeah, yeah. just double check that things are edible. It's like, We've got our new edible wonder dust um, in silver and they are edible and very, very sparkly. But I did see somebody using a, a, a dust the other day on chocolate and they thought it was edible and they've used it and it's not edible. Um, and you know, it's not edible. And the company state very clearly, I went and had a look at the product information and the company state very, very clearly it's, it's not edible glitter. So do be careful, because I was looking thinking, cracky, that's cheap, and then I realised why. But the lady who was using it has obviously not picked up on it, and she was doing a Facebook Live on it. So do be careful when you're using the glitters. Make sure they're edible. And the same when you go over to Rights of Limb. So it's good that uh, they've changed the website. I'm glad about that. Yeah, because you used to have to find the drop-down for the edible yeah. bits. some of them sheets you can buy from there? Uh, it's like well, you still think, have to pay postage anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah, so. it comes quite quickly though. I buy the big packs of twenty five, but you can buy ten. I think you can buy five, five sheets. I think. I from memory. Say, I thought five sheets was a minimum. But um, I tend to just buy the big packs because it lasts, obviously, and I know I'm going to yeah. go through it eventually. And if you've never used edible glitter, just make sure you read the instructions because when you take it off the paper, it will break and it will flake and it will float off. The transfer sheets is what you want yeah. if you're wanting something precise. Like if you're wanting to put it on like I've done on the first cake tonight, you can use the loose leaf, but the transfer sheets like this, yeah. they stay on the sheet until it 
sticks to something else and then it sticks to that and comes off the sheet yeah. so they sell it in two different forms loosely yeah. well they sell it in quite a few different forms but yeah. if you're wanting more of an abstract like you're just wanting to place it in very specific places like in sort of little clusters then you can get the loose leaf which is what squires yeah. is and then what happens with that is sometimes it crinkles up and it's the yeah. whole reason why i won't sell it because we sold it many years ago and i've got to be honest i really couldn't do with customers moaning about it and I just thought, you I can't know, believe what? people like didn't realise. Like, know. do you know what? You'll find that sometimes I don't sell a product, and you have to ask yourself why, just to give me and this customer services a break. <laughs> so I just think, <laughs> I'm cry. Forget that. No, too much hassle. <laughs> Let somebody else sell it. So I'm just using quite a like stiff bristle brush here because I don't want it going everywhere over the rest of the so I don't want it like wafting back and forwards with like a loose bristle brush and then when I get to the very edge I'm using a smaller more precise brush. And what colour are you that. using here now? That is, is that whisper pink, pink. What is it called? Whisper, whisper pink. pink. Oh, right. Just to tie it in with the pink yeah. on top of here. It's nice. But you see obviously like I was saying earlier depending upon what you put it on it will take on a different sort of tone um that looks lovely though so when we put it i'm going to put some on the top on the top tier it because that's on a pink base it will look probably a bit more vibrant pink so are you enjoying the live tonight everyone give us a thumbs up and back better still give us loads of love out <laughs> don't be smacking that angry face by mistake <laughs> <laughs> I love how militant you are. Hey, how I love how, how militant you are. Well, it's do this, that. don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Telling them. Well, some of them crack the angry face and it pops up. Do you, and think, you think that they're no. just doing it by like? I do think by it's mistake. by accident. Yeah, I think they get very giddy and excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, somebody's lovely, yeah. pressed the angry face. Who's done that? We've done it for a joke. Hey, who did that angry face there? <laughs> Anyhow, to do the if you do an angry face by mistake, quickly do a love heart and it cancels it out. <laughs> Margaret Kirk says it's a fabulous live. Thank you. Good. And I don't know what's going on between Peter Allen and Geraldine Allen. I think Geraldine is skipping between her husband's Facebook page on his iPad. Oh, right. I think she's on his iPad and then she's on on her iPhone or something. Because I can't. She says Peter can't keep up with all the comments. <laughs> So, anyhow, they've got some banter going on between them. And Elizabeth Goddard, I think it was Elizabeth at Goddard, who's just got their new pink board? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just saw the comment come through. It's Elizabeth, yeah, Elizabeth Goddard. So I'm sure it was her who said she's just got a new pink board. Are you excited? You'll never use sugar paste, uh, you'll never use icing sugar or corn flour to roll out your sugar paste again. Do you like rolling out on you? Have you yeah. got the pink or the grey? I've got the grey. Yeah. It's so nice to roll out on, isn't it? Yeah, because it's it's less messy that you don't have to do as much cleaning up afterwards because there's not corn flour. I use corn flour rather than icing sugar, so um, yeah, you don't have to like clean up because it gets everywhere. <laughs> you don't have to clean up as much. So Jenny March says, I'm loving the live tonight, thank you. And Net Lawson says, yes, I'm loving it. Ah, oh, good. So lots of people are loving the live, lots of love arts came up there. So don't forget, if you've not commented on the live, I'm going to be drawing the prizes at the end of this session. So we're due to finish at nine o'clock. So I will do the, you're all right, got 40 minutes yet. So when we come to finish, I will then um, draw the prizes for some wonder dust. Now, I can do the wonder dust in twos and we can have more prizes. Or I can do the wonder dust in threes and we can have a few less prizes. <laughs> do the wonder dust in fours and have a lot less prizes <laughs> or i can do the wonder dust in fives and have a really lot less prizes I'm so i don't know yet i've decided i'm in this <laughs> everything's still open and what up. would you like <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where to give away i've not, I've not consulted john yet not that I ever consulted I was going to say, I always say, John's going to kill me. John's going to kill me. Don't usually tell him. I'm not consulting John. People do know you. Hey? People do know you. He just doesn't look. Yeah, Elaine Lawson says choose. 
comment on this live. No, not this live. <laughs> not this live. So on this page, so if you just, if you go to this live now and just press the live, you can press a little arrow and it pull it down so it sits in the corner. And then what you can do is go to the Sugar and Crumbs page for Nifty Nuzzles. And if you just scroll up, you'll see, let's just see where the post is. So this is the post I want you to answer on. So the post is um, not about the outage. Keep scrolling up, not the banner. So where is that post? Ooh. Right, so it was four days ago. Don't forget to share. <laughs> Who watched tonight's FB Live, 20th of the 10th, 21? Did you like the new product? What do you think of the new Wonder Dust colours? Why do you watch Sugar and Crumbs Lives? Be in for the chance to win five new colours. Leave your comments here. Ah, so I've actually said groups of five. So there you go, yeah. me and my big gob. Already decided. It's already been decided, isn't it? That's yeah. it, isn't it? You've not decided how many groups of five. Ooh, I'll have to decide when I'm doing the live, won't we? But you must share, because if you go and have a look, there's 212 comments, but only 66 shares. So if you have only commented, you have wasted your time. And if it you commented done six shy. times, you must. Yeah. yeah, and if you commented six times, you wasted your time, okay? So there's only 66 shares, ladies, so you best get back and start sharing rapid. But not into any sugar and crumbs groups, not into any sugar and crumbs classes. They'll get binned out and you'll get told off if you do. So you must share them with your friends. You must go and share them with like-minded cakers. Rachel's group is a good group. What's Rachel's group called? How many times? The Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hannah. Go and join it and then go and share our share our this that post into it. They <laughs> won't get approved like tomorrow. Us. What do you mean you won't get approved? Oh it will get approved, yeah, they won't get approved. <laughs> yeah, but members who are in there already. Yeah, you're already yeah. in there, that's fine, yeah. yeah. But But then you know, there's other places where you're part of them. Um, you know, there's, there's other groups. Of groups. There's loads of cake group cake groups. I've I've seen how many cake groups you're all members of. <laughs> So I've just um, got a bowl of water out of the kettle and I've got a plate over it. This is just a melamine plate. And I'm just melting some cocoa butter nibs. So I'm using... Could you just pull it in a little bit so we can... Yeah, of course. Is that better? Yeah. Um, so I'm using the Squire's Kitchen cocoa butter nibs. Um, you, you don't need many at all. So this pack, um, I can't remember how much they are. They're about five, six pounds, I think. But they will last ages. So you can mix these, obviously... Um, when we're doing sugar paste cakes, we mix using rejuvenated spirit or like a clear alcohol, but it doesn't really sit well on the um, on the ganache finish because it's obviously oil based. So we're just using the melted cocoa butter to just mix a oil based luster paint. You could also mix this with obviously um, petal dust as well if you wanted a paint that wasn't um, sparkly. I like that how you've just done that on that plate there without having to buy one of those fancy heater things. That's how Marion Frost does hers actually, a bowl of hot water. So I'm just going down this edge. I remember the first person that we saw doing cocoa butter painting was Marion Frost in the kitchen. I thought, what's she doing? I loved it. And she oh, did it just really? like that, yeah. Right, I'm not answering comments because I freaking froze myself after all that, so I've had to turn my phone off. So, so unless Simon wants it. Hey Simon, have you actually said anything about the YouTubers? Who's yes, on YouTube? Yes, I've answered a few questions. We've got, oh. a lot, we've got a lot of people on YouTube tonight. I know What's Jill was it? saying the other day that she used to be the only one in there. And oh. she had 130 people join her on Thursday. Amazing. A whole load of friends. How many have you got in there? I don't know. Yeah, 82. Yeah. There you go. Right, now I can't get my photo. Oh, my phone's got my phone now. <laughs> Cake looks lovely, Rachel. So can you see how we're just putting this, how it's come up different? It's just um, more intense, the pink, because it's on a pale pink background as opposed to a dark chocolate background. So it is that little bit more intense. And obviously you can mix whatever colours you want with this and just pop it along. Here, if you want 
sorted. Get back to live again now, my phone's back on. <laughs> Crisis averted. <laughs> Gonna have to whiz past all the comments again now. <laughs> You're super behind again. I'm also going to just bring some gold tones in as well to just tie it in with this gold on the base. Well done, well done Geraldine. She said she's just going to share to your group. Well done Geraldine. <laughs> uh, Tracy Brooks says, the one I commented on doesn't have a share button on it. We'll go to the one that's on the page, not the one on the visitors post. Go back there and do your thing there and go and share. Mandy Harvey loves cocoa butter painting. Oh, good. I'm sure I, Chantel McDonald says, I'm sure I shared it, but I'm not sure, so I've shared it again. Good girl. That's very good, Chantel. And Karen Naylor said she's just received a shared link. Yeah, go on, share it with all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be in it to win it. And then also, you should, all, I'll start my journey soon. We need you to start promoting this cake community. This cake community has got 34,000 members in it. We're aiming to get to 50,000. So come on, ladies. I need you to invite all your friends to join the Sugar and Crumbs cake community. We, um, our, our cake community was in, the, was in the third in one of the best Facebook groups. So there was, um, um, what, was what do you call it? Um, oh, gosh. Um, it was a clue. think of the word. Phil and um, Christine Jensen. Jensen. Mm -hmm. They've done that big um, profile thing about cake groups and tutors and everything, haven't they? And we came third in being the best group that the was cake out professionals. there. The cake professionals. That's it. I get it's there. not often I know about these things, so I'm like <laughs> amazed at my <laughs> recall there. Yes, yeah, so we came third as being one of the best informative groups. Now, I'm happy with third, but I'm not happy. She's happy. not. <laughs> She's not. Because <laughs> we should be number one. She's lying. <laughs> I can't remember who was uh, number one and two, actually. Let me well, it may be Cake Flicks. What was the category? It was the category of the best. Let me just Educational, look. like. Starting to look. look. Right, cake communities. Oh, cake community, right. Oh, actually, actually. Oh, actually. I didn't read it right. We came, <laughs> we came first. <laughs> I didn't read it right. They're probably thinking, how is that said anything about winning that? Piece? So, it was Sugar and Crumbs by 80, with a count of 80 of being the best cake community. So we fancy cakes with 29. Caroline Jack's Cake Academy with 22, Natalie Porter Immaculate Confections 19, Dinky Doodle Academy 18 votes, La Belle Cake Academy 15, Cussing Caker 14, Cakes by Carol 13 and the Honey Bee Cake Hive 13. So we won there. God, I, I didn't even realise we won. Do you know what? I'm going to give myself a round of applause. Do it! Well done. <laughs> So, um, so, so we fancy cake got 29 and we got 80. So, how many is that then? We won more. by 51 points, did we? Yeah. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? So, I wasn't reading the survey there. So, the other one was the organisation. So, the organisation, and I put them all together, was the British Sugar Craft Guild with 229 votes. Um, and the second place was Guild of Cake Bakers, five. And then I can't see what Kate Flick's got there. Kate Flick's got something. What for what category is this one? That was for organisations. It says knowing the enormous benefit of connection to others in an isolated lifestyle. The survey mm. asked about membership of supported learning communities. Six well-known cake groups offering paid for services were listed with a free text option for all others. And we came top. Oh, look at that. I can't even realise I'm going to have to get back now and congratulate myself. What right. made you think you could third then? Because I obviously wasn't freaking reading it properly, was I? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, well, oh, I, even told right. John, I even told John that we, that we came third. <laughs> 
obviously Absolutely. missed something, haven't I? Right, well, we came top girls, we're the champions. When so, was that announced? It's a while eh? ago, was it not like a while ago that came out? A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> They're probably thinking, oh, she's not seen her. Yeah, celebrated that, that on Instagram. I've got to be honest, I know, I know. I've got to be honest. Chris, I've got to be honest. I should have took a hint when Christine and Phil messaged me. <laughs> I'm thinking, she didn't care. She's not bothered. Well, I'm too busy working in my own freaking business. <laughs> That's oh, cool. oh, I'm well chuffed. Yeah, message him back. Yeah, best I've messaged him back. I'll have to apologise. Oh, they'll find, it it. Hey? they'll find it hilarious. Eh? They'll find it hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> they know I'm always busy, anyhow. So, <laughs> yeah, so well done, ladies. So, see, we're top, and we're top by a lot. And I'm actually amazed that we beat Zoe Fancy Kate. She got millions of followers, so really well pleased. Mm. Zoe is amazing. Right, Melanie Coleman said, I only joined 20 minutes ago. Why? <laughs> I missed the covering of the cake. We didn't cover the cake tonight. I love the linear pattern on the cakes. What was that done? With a texture mat? No, it wasn't. You'll have to join the class to find so out. So what's happened is, is Rachel is showing some techniques today, but not all of them, because she's done a class today. And it's a ganache masterclass. It's £40, so all the cakes that she's using in tonight's live is what she made in today's class. And she goes through all the different types of ganache, white, milk and dark. She uses the Pro Froster, which we don't sell, Bridget's Cake Room, which we do sell, Ganache Plates, which we do sell. And did you do one with just smoothing with a smoother by any chance? Uh, no. I did that as a top, as a oh, decorative right. thing. Yeah. I've done that, yeah. And then showed you loads of other techniques, loads and loads of techniques, but you have to buy the class. So what she's doing in tonight's live is showing you some free techniques. Because we're nice like that. <laughs> Goes with nice like that. Oh, look at all these congratulations. Isn't that good, that? There's me thinking I'd come third when I really come atop. <laughs> we should have celebrated that on the last demo day. Yes, we should have, Karen Naylor, because I knew before the last demo day, but I thought we'd come third. <laughs> so she was in a hump about it. <laughs> she was in a hump about it. Didn't want to celebrate it. <laughs> Basically, John, she John, was sulking. John's going to freaking kill me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> She thought, I'm not interested in those results because I didn't win. Oh, that's nice. Janine, every bloody brill. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's made my night that. I'm bagging nozzles at the moment. That's what I've been doing with all the other jobs I've been doing today. I might go in there and smile while I continue. <laughs> What a good finish to the day. Yeah, so when you finish the live, I'll go and continue bagging my nozzles. What time are you going to do that till? Oh, I don't know. Till you fall asleep into your nozzles. Yeah. Well, all the mini nozzles have come back in as well. So I've got my new bundle of nozzles, ladies. I will be showing... Oh, look at that, Donna Jory. Always number one in our eyes. Kissy, kissy. Yes, kissy, kissy. You've not heard about our kissy, kissy, have you? No. Right, so basically, I get on with all the sales reps. Like, I have a really good laugh with all the sales reps. And they always go, Carol, I love talking to you. You're like the best. You know, they like big milk because they know I'm going to buy a bit more of them. But anyhow, <laughs> they just say that they like talking to me because I'm dead straight. I see it as I say it as I see it. I do. Dead straight. Don't muck about. Don't go around the houses. And they love it. I ask direct questions. Because it's amazing what you need to know in this industry, isn't it? So I just ask. So, but one lady um, who I buy stock off is lovely. And I ask her very direct questions. But she does tell me how much she loves me and sends me lots of kissy kissy messages. <laughs> so I was I was laughing with the girls because but she's um, she's... I don't know whether she's Brazilian or Spanish, but she's from somewhere else. And so, <laughs> so, but there's a little bit of communication errors right. when it comes to ordering stock. So right. I tell her what I want. Generally, I get two thirds of it correct, and the next the next third is incorrect. So I just don't bother sending it back. <laughs> I just keep it, explain it to her, it's just easy. and then she sends me loads of kisses. Oh, kissy yeah. kissy. That's how she gets rid of some of her stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. To Carol by mistake. She smiles and goes, kissy kissy. <laughs> <laughs> and hopes that people will just go, oh, she's nice really. I'll just, I'll just look. Yeah, there you <laughs> So it's like I was expecting uh, pumpkin moulds or something. Oh, mini school moulds the other day. Uh -huh. And got big ones. I said, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, 
Kissy, kissy. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's what you she get. She doesn't in. say kissy, kissy. She just sends me kisses. Yeah. But, I, but she is from. I kind of want her to say kissy, kissy. Like, I feel yeah. like that would. She does. But I do get on really well with all the reps, and uh, they've been very supportive. Because, as you know, I had uh, a bit of an incident last year, and a lot of the reps went, Oof, Carol, take no notice. Mm. So, go, go. Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish this cake off by pop popping some macarons on. So we're just going to include some ganache in those as well and some of the sprinkles. So I'm just melting the pinky burgundy tones. Oh, I need you to move this ganache away. I can't eat any more. Oh, no. <laughs> bring a different plate. <laughs> not, not my job. <laughs> it's the smell though, isn't it? The smell's lovely of it and it's like... Oh. Mm. I'm going to get the water to it tomorrow. I haven't ate as much as you think of it, to be fair. No, you've been eating tiny, tiny little bits. Yeah, I've had enough. It is, it is rich. These are homemade macarons. Yes, of course. What else? You would have dared use manufactured macarons, would you? You'd only no, make your no, own, wouldn't no, you? No. Don't worry, Claire. There's big bowls full of this for you. I've only ate small amounts, but I've had enough. <laughs> Not started on the dark or the white. So these are just some um, slightly misshapen that were. I baked a batch of macarons the other week. I baked. I had them for an order for a wedding, and I baked. Um, I misbaked a few things. I think I just got to the point of exhaustion, and I was just making silly mistakes. One thing I don't even know what I did wrong with it. The macarons, I know what I did wrong with them, but it was what too. Did you do wrong? I didn't quite mix them enough, right. so they went. They were too. They stayed too sort of fat and didn't spread out enough, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I was just too tired and wasn't paying enough attention. And um, anyway, so I've got some misshapes. So I thought, well, we'll get them on this cake because it's not as obvious when they're on a cake. So I'm just melted this um, ganache up and I'm just going to, because these are just sort of pale, uh, pale tone sort of neutral neutral um, shells so we're just going to paint some of this on little brush strokes oh sue millen says simon had a beard that color pink once he did yeah simon doesn't, doesn't bother looking after himself coming in with colored beers now oh, why not simon oh. he's got this gray matted dead cat thing on his chin at the moment Carol. It's overworked. Oh. i'm trying not to look at him so i don't have to comment on it <laughs> Try to look Don't at him. Look at me. Try not to look at him. <laughs> poor Simon. Save yourself. I think every time I come here, by the end of it, I've ended up saying, "Poor Simon." <laughs> the poor man, poor Simon. I've got to freaking look at him. I've been. I've not been looking at him tonight because I looking at a dead cat that. on Simon's chin. It really isn't a good thing. Oh. <laughs> poor Simon. Poor Simon, Poor Simon. I think he needs like a badge saying, <laughs> Poor Simon. Claire Corbett says he used to make every effort for me, but he's clearly not bothered anymore. Oh, this is what I happens. know, Claire. This is what happens when you get into a relationship. You don't make the effort, do you? you know, it's all nice at first, isn't it? <laughs> Charming, lovely. <laughs> I'll go home and do it tonight then. <laughs> oh, Claire's in tomorrow. He's got the morning off because he doesn't have to be in till 12. 10. It, oh, 10. He can in at 10, I yeah. uh, She has to stop what she has to do. Oh, look at you jump when Claire says. Oh, look at that. I know. I thought you didn't have to be, be in till 12. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Special level of service here. <laughs> they had their own pack, said that's it. He's going to tipple it with somebody else. <laughs> Um, what was I've missed something there right so the little sick face is um, because Leslie Green I've had too much ganache and I now feel ill so I'm leaving it alone now I'm leaving it for Claire Corbett tomorrow promise I love these macarons with the sprinkles on what a lovely idea because yeah, sometimes now, the I bet you made boring. macarons the proper way and not with our whipping it up how it? I've always done it actually I was going to make it with whipping it up but my whipping it up was out of date so I didn't it doesn't matter. It's oh. not a date. Oh. oh, well, I should have done. Yeah, should have. That would have been perfect. But I did, I did have some, but because yeah. Because we use dried egg white powder, again, that doesn't go out of date because it's pasteurised. Oh, well, there you go. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah I have I've been making macarons for donkeys so it, I just yeah have a tried and tested way that's just it's all costed up in my recipes and yeah um okie doke I'm going to fill some of these with this lovely burgundy ganache so this is the dark chocolate ganache Claire Corbett said you better have a different colour beer tomorrow I shall report <laughs> Have you got the have you got the stuff to, to sort that out before tomorrow morning? He's got to stop at the chemist on the room. <laughs> and Elaine Lawton says, You think I've got pretty Elaine Lawton says, Carol, you think you've got problems? What about my Simon? I know. I don't know you live with your Simon. Simon but Elaine Lawton's husband is a very nice man. But he's got a beard as good as Father Christmas is. But not nice, neat, shiny curly. Oh, no. It looks like Simon's. What they used to have? A bigger dead cat. <laughs> and Tracy Scriven says, Simon Daisy, is that you let yourself go? Yes, he has. Oh dear. They're just saying the novelty wears off. Yeah, that's it, you see. You're getting it now, Si. <laughs> it's happened this this happens every live, Simon. I think your beard comes up in and conversation. Louise William says, Ten o'clock. Oh my good goodness, I will have been working four hours by then. But in fairness, Simon has been working since nine o'clock this morning till nine o'clock tonight because he won't help when the live's finished. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it. He's booked off then. Twelve hour shift. Go do photos at that yeah, point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, and then you always do usually help me to the car with stuff as well. Yes, he it? does. He does. To be fair, we have to remind him to help though. So much paraphernalia. <laughs> I don't wait for him to offer any more. But you don't even shave your legs anymore now, do you, Si? No. Oh, no time. <laughs> same <laughs> they're saying the macarons are very pretty i like it with the dark colored ganache in like that they look really effective don't yeah they? and it does just tie it in yeah got one more and to be honest i'm just using leftover bits from covering cute little max yeah, there's this competition now going what time they start work Karen Naylor says, well, I'll have been in the office three hours by then as well, because Karen's on a seven tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's competition time here, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, listen, listen, you lot, I had the grandkids last night. I've been up since five this morning, and I'm still going. There was little Ruby, was no way was she going back to bed this morning. And Donna Jaffrey, I'm not sure which way to take this. Rachel was like the Duracell bunny, bless her. Today I am. Tomorrow I'll be going for nothing. I mean, like, short, sharp bursts, and then tomorrow I'll be, like, don't, don't ask me to make any decisions tomorrow, don't ask me to do anything. Just the way it goes. But I've not been here in such a long time, so... <laughs> Reader Arnold said, oh, Richard grew a beard, and it came out ginger, so he looked like he had a dead red squirrel on his face. Oh, glad you got rid of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got cocktail sticks anywhere? Uh, it should be in the cupboard behind you there in a silver tin. So uh, try and look in the other cupboards as well. You should find a silver tin with loads of cocktail sticks in. Mm. And those mystery places where I kept the Oh, it? there they are. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ah, here I go. Here's the dig, Simon. Yeah, but Simon only works with two fingers. <laughs> What does that even mean? Because we take the mickey out of Simon. But I've got oh, to be honest, right, I see. Right, whenever I see Simon work, he only has one finger on the buttons or two. So when he's going on about how tired and how hard he works, I take the mickey out of him and think, what? But I must admit, I had a little lesson with him the other day on what's involved in his job. And I have now got a lot more sympathy. Thank Not you. much. <laughs> It's a lot more sympathy for Simon, but not really a lot more sympathy. Still so, quite restrained. Yeah, still quite restrained. Yeah. But yes, mm -hmm. I do sympathise more, and I do agree now. He does use more than two fingers. He's proved it to me. Look, look, look I'm doing now, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he does stretch. He's up out of his chair right, right now. Exactly, he's up out of his chair. That's it. But he only does it very occasionally, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> And Gillian Smith uh, uh, Agrici says she would never have thought of using ganache and macarons. Oh, you should. They're delicious. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially when you flavour your ganache. Mm. I forgot. <laughs> we did talk about it, though, and I showed them. And 
taught them through how, yeah, how to do it. See that last like macro there? there? See that last macro on there? Could you just hold it up to the camera so they can see where you decorated it? Yeah. And I'll run off for the extra 100 comments that I've missed. There so it's just got both yeah this one because I had two decorated shells. Um, so this one it's got this dusky pink. It's this was white chocolate ganache coloured dusky pink, and uh, just with a brush stroke, some sprinkles added on, and then it's got the dark chocolate ganache inside, which has been coloured deep burgundy. And that's it. Mm -hmm. The cake looks on. amazing, Rachel. They're all saying. Wow, look at this. So ladies, if you want to learn about ganache and you want to learn properly, go and join Rachel's Masterclass. It's Ganache Masterclass. It's on the website, it's £40. It is a full day's tutorial, but Ra see these four cakes? Rachel has done them all in class. Six cakes, actually. No, so these two were covered Those were already covered, as practice, they? yeah. yeah. But, um, so, but those four cakes over there, she shows you how to make ganache with white milk and dark chocolate. She shows you how, how to use the Pro Foster, how to use Bridget's Cake Room, how to use ganache plates so that you can find a way to ganache your cakes that suits you. Because everybody likes things a bit different, don't they, how they do things. Definitely. So, and then she also shows you lots of techniques in there as well. Rachel's got her final class of the year coming up. When is it? Is it November? 20 something of November. Is that yeah, and that November? will be, can you remember what the that's title the is? The Wedding Cake Masterclass. The Wedding Cake Masterclass. And that's going to be a big class as well because she's oh, going to show yeah. you how to make flowers in there as well. Yeah. So it's a big, big class. So we in there we've got um, flower making, we've got textures, we've got molding, we've got colour washing, hand painted calligraphy. Uh, and sugar flowers and other bits as well and basically I'll just keep adding to it until in, until yeah. until we're done at the end of the day. Might not be a lie because we might still be continuing doing the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like tonight. <laughs> so if uh, all you ladies who ask about ganache, why don't you invest in Rachel's class and all the answers will be there. Lots of people have been watching today, they've said what a great class it is and remember it's yours to keep forever for you to use as your reference guide. So definitely go along. I've done the Facebook wish list. In the Facebook wish list, I have put all Rachel's classes. I put the colour mill in, the wonder dust in, the chocolate in, um, there might be a few things, the cocoa butter in. You put the um, gold, gold leaf sparkle in. I put the cold leaf, gold leaf in. Um, so there might be a few things I might have missed. I've also put my cupcake bouquet class now it's the biggest cupcake bouquet class, it's £60 and the class number 14 is being done on Wednesday and it's the last class for that group. So 14 classes for 60 quid. Simon, what is that please? Work it out. £60 divided by 14. He's just staring at me now. Is it? I don't know. Just made a picture figure out in my head. So £60 divided, oh a minute. 60 pound divided by 14 that means you pay two pound 57 a class come on no, that's ladies not right. that it can't is. be right no. 60 pound divided by 14 it's... equals oh sorry 14 pound 28 a class no, that's, that's not, not right. right that's not right is it four pounds 28 yeah that's right that definitely <laughs> is right they didn't get 14 from <laughs> Now you know why I didn't know we'd won. <laughs> yeah, it's all making sense now. I was like, how did you possibly not know? <laughs> Got it. Sean's going to go mad. <laughs> <laughs> so £4.28 a class, ladies. There's 14 classes in there. Now, I know tonight lots of people are watching, okay, are watching, and they're in that big cupcake bouquet class, and they will tell you what a fantastic sessions they are in there. So Wednesday is the last day. We're making a 36 bouquet, um, uh, bouquet in there on Thursday, on Wednesday, and we're going to be doing autumn colours. We're going to be using nifty nozzles. I will be using my new ones. You don't have them yet, but you can use some of your older ones. I'm going to be using Blossom Sugar Art because we've just acquired the company. And um, we'll be using, um, what else we'll be using? I don't know. Oh, we're going to make some gerberas in there as well. So, um, there you go. So that class, so go and buy that. 14 classes for £60. 
Be sure. <laughs> and Donna Jeffrey said, is Carol high on sugar? Mm, no ganache. <laughs> there was some sugar content in that. <laughs> yeah. And Karen Nail has worked it out. 16 divided by 15 would have been £4 per class, so just over that. Well done, Karen. Thank you for a great live, Hannah. Carol and Simon, love to you all. Right, aren't these cakes fantastic? Can you see them all there? It's nearly competition time, ladies. Yeah. Don't forget to go and share, because you won't win if you don't. Well, they look what? beautiful, Rachel. So in the class, Rachel shows you how to make four of these cakes. And there's lots of textures and techniques that she shows you how to do in the class. So you must really go and join the class to find out. As much as these tutors come in and give you lots of free information, they need to earn a living as well. And earning a living for them is by selling and making cakes and doing classes. So if you want to earn a living, you don't want to be giving it away for free because you won't earn a living, will you? You'll want people to pay for your cake. Well, this is what happens with the tutors. And Jackie McMinn says, Carol's classes are amazing. I'd recommend Aww. them all. That's nice. Yeah. Well done. Right, the love hearts are flying. Well done, Rachel. I have to say, they're brilliant. And you finished. Ten minutes to spare. Which never happens. Never happens. You didn't think I, you were going to do I that tonight, that did you? I put that down to all the preparation I did yeah, between yeah, yeah. the class and the live. <laughs> exactly. Right, so I'm going to come over there and let you pick some winners then. So we've got three. I'm going to give away... I'm going to give away five sets of five. So that's 25 wonder dust I'm going to give away. Okay. Five sets of five, ladies. So I'm going to go to the visitors post first. Oops, one second, Simon. So if you can just do it not on the visitors post, anybody who is signing up for it. There's Rachel taking her pictures. I'm doing a little yeah. Yeah, so I can put together a reel of today. Ah, fantastic. Right, so I can't read comments now because I've got to go over to the page. So let me take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. Usually handy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so I need to go to the visitors post where John posted. Oh, right, can I see the visitors post here? see what you mean now I wasn't sure what you meant earlier when you were talking about John po John's post I see what yeah you mean John now. didn't po John posted as me and not as sugar and crumbs so I just need to go in fact so see there there's visitors post yeah so he did two posts in there so oh look at that the care group they did a post in there as well I didn't know I never go in that Rachel Hannah's posted in there as well oh and so is checking my men up cracking maybe I should go over and look a little <laughs> bit more often <laughs> right Karen Naylor wasn't this your job <laughs> oh cracker there's loads of things going on on here right okay so we've got two posts so the first one that john did he wrote new wonder dust colors have arrived like and share and comment to enter our prize draw to win a bundle of all the nine new colors place uh, prize draw will take place on the 25th of october at 7 p.m on our fb live now i'm going to turn off the commenting for that now oh i can't while we're live <laughs> we're live, we can't. So there's 19 shares. So there's 20 comments, 19 shares. So let's load up the shares. Uh, right, okay. So let's just do a little bit of spin. I've just loaded it up there. Da, 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 da. Right, Rachel, you're going to pick a winner from here. Uh -huh. So I'll keep spinning. You pick a winner. Way, Joe Twyman. You have won five wondered us so email the office you do know the email address because i know you've come through there before but just in case you don't it's info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com just put that you won five wonder us in the competition for tonight i think simon might put up a little link in a minute so you can see it what, but it? it's the info link but if you don't know the email address, go to our website, go to contact at the bottom and then email in direct there. So congratulations, Joe Twyman. You can choose any five of the Wonder Dust colours. OK, we've got nine new ones in. So that was that one. So we've done that one. Let's go to the next one. So the next one that John did, we've got 37 comments in there, 33 shares. So let me just load up the shares, because if you didn't share, you won't be in the competition. So let me just keep scrolling it up and down. 
I'll have a nosy where you shared afterwards. It best not be in the classes or in my group. <laughs> you best be sharing it with all your friends. I'll be having a look. Don't me to. All right, when you're ready. Ooh, the sugar craft school with Rachel Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy picking your own friggin' shirt. I've just got a time for it. <laughs> hey, that's good, isn't it? Hey, friggin' hell, right. Let me just get that it spinning again. That wasn't me that had scared. That was J- Geraldine was it Allen. Allen. But it doesn't say Geraldine it Allen. It does. Though. Yeah, but it says like Louise Herron's there. These are amazing. This says the Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hanna, Geraldine but Allen. But clearly it's not me, because I'm here and I would know Yeah, 31 minutes ago. Well, it's Geraldine. It's Geraldine. All right, we're going to give Has it that one. It? Has Geraldine shared it into she's the managed Sugar Craft School? It into my no, group. she's managed to share it as a Sugar Craft School with Rachel Hanna. She got, she got shares in your company? No. Right, okay, we're going to let you have that one, Geraldine Allen, because to be fair, she I was a bit confused it. about that by myself. Right, okay, good. Congratulations, Let's Geraldine Allen. You've won that one. Glitch. It's eh? probably one of those glitchy faces. Yeah, because everybody else comes up with their name, doesn't it? Yeah. But it came up as like both, so I don't. Yeah, no, it has come up as both. Let me just so you can see. Look, look, look. Have a look, Simon. Yeah. So All it right. says the Sugarcraft Guild, Sugarcraft School with Rachel Hannah, Geraldine Allen. I don't know how you've done that, Geraldine. She won't know either. Like... She won't know. I ended up having to have a competitive conversation with Geraldine a few weeks ago. I went, how did you do that? She said, I don't know. Oh, there you just go. popped up. It could just right. be. Good girl, so you're a winner. Glitchy right, if you've already won, by the way, you don't win again. So if you get chosen again, it gets thrown back in the box. So let's go back to where it was done properly by me <laughs> on the page. Now, I might not know I was the winner of the groups, but so, so I do when, know how to post properly. Well, how, how did it go wrong, Carol? The other one, who did it wrong? John. John, and who yeah. did the other one wrong? John, he did two posts. He did so one he post did twice. and he didn't know where it was. He couldn't find it. So he did it again, which is why we've got two comps. So then I finished the live and thought, he hasn't done it. Him. He's gone to bed. <laughs> so I did it properly. So this one is 231 comments, yeah. 101 shares. Wow. So 200 and, uh, 100 and, 130 of you haven't shared. So sorry, but it was for shares. So let's go to the shares. Let's get them loaded up. Now, I'm going to draw three winners in this one because this is the big one. So just get everybody loaded up. So congratulations, um, Geraldine Allen. And who was the other lady? Uh, Jo Twyman. Oh, Jo Twyman, yeah. Right. I hope Karen Naylor's writing it down because I'll forget. I've written it. Oh, you've written it. Well done. Right. So what I like to do is we'll do some from the bottom to the middle. Yeah. Some from the bottom to the middle. So when you're ready... Woo, Dawn Davies, and she's watching tonight. I've seen her. So, Dawn Davies, congratulations. You have won 500 us. So, email into the office. There it is. It's on the screen. Or go to contact via our website. But contact the office and just say, I have won 500 us from tonight's live. Now, we can post them out to you. If you've got an order coming in, save us the postage and we'll pop it in your next order. Um, but just write there how you want us to deliver them. I personally don't deliver them. Okay, so now we'll go to the top of the page, Rachel. Yeah, come in. So we'll go to the top and we'll go halfway to the top. And then we'll do the middle. So I like to give everybody a shout. Ooh, items for sale in Rill. So <laughs> Linda Williams. <laughs> it's Linda Williams. That's done the same thing. Yeah, it's done the same thing, hasn't it? Yeah. So Linda Williams. I'm going to have a look with Facebook and see what happens there. So Linda Williams has uh, shared it. Now, this is good. Items for sale in Rill. We'll have to go and have a look, see if they accepted it. But Linda Williams, you have won five um, Wonder Dust. So well done. So you know what to do. So I'm now going to go to the middle section. You know when? You when you're ready. Oh, Margaret Kirk, and she's watching tonight. Congratulations, Margaret Kirk. So you've won five Wonder Dust. Congratulations. So there's all the winners. Well done. So that's five bundles of five that we're going to send out. So you just go through to the office info dot sugar and crumbs at iCloud.com. Okay, if you can't remember that, go to the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to the contact page, 
Don't forget, everything that Rachel's used tonight is in the FB Live wish list, which is on the website. And um, that's us all done. You, if you want to know anything about ganache, join Rachel's class. Seriously, I see so many questions on the group about ganache. Well, you know what? Invest. Invest in, your, invest in your class. And the other thing is, if you've got your own business, you can take it off for tax purposes then, because you've bought a class, which is really good. And then, um, what else do I want to say? Your, your class on Wednesday. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So, so for the last time, what is your group that they can join? It is the Sugarcraft School with Rachel Hannah. Um, so you can join on there. Um, I will need to just prove it. So make sure you answer the questions. Um, yeah, if you don't answer the questions, you won't get in. Okay. She'll decline you. You'll have to join again. Yeah. Uh, and it's just got to have rules, Simon. Are we going to be that harsh on me? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting declined. <laughs> um, yeah, if you answer the You should have another question on there. Are you Simon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is this Simon? No, you should say, where did you find us? I do. Do you have that? Oh, yeah, where did you learn about it? Yeah, sugar crumbs up quite often. Oh, does it? Yeah. See, that's us sugary yeah. crumbs. And we do, always pop up that. everywhere. Because it's time. nice to know, isn't it? It is it? nice like, to know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I should have that on our questions actually. Yeah. Do that and just pop pop the answers in, and then um, I'll go through and approve tomorrow. Um, yeah, but if you have any questions about once you join my group, just post them in there. And there's loads of people that you'll probably recognise from this group as well who can help you out if I'm not available. Um, but yeah, so if you want to do the ganache class, uh, you can still get signed up. The wedding cake master class is at the end of November, so click on that on the website and it gives all the details and a picture of the cake that we're going to be doing. Um, but we'll be working on the assumption that you are already okay with sugar pasting and all that side of it and we're just going to be doing decorative techniques on the sugar pasted cake. That's it. So great live isn't it? So that's us done for tonight. Tomorrow Tracy Mann is back in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Now you do know that Tracy Mann uses our platform so she was a little bit concerned about my post that if there was any Facebook issues pop over to YouTube. So what she said, she was going to put a post up as well. So if you're watching Tracy Mann tomorrow, you can't go to YouTube because she posts direct to her own YouTube channel. To be fair, she could stream through to our channel and I need to speak to her about that, whether she wants to do that. Um, so if you do have problems with Facebook, you'll have to catch her up on YouTube on Wednesday morning when she downloads it and, put, and um, uploads it to YouTube. Um, on Wednesday, I am doing the class. It starts at 11 o'clock. It's called the cup. It's called a cupcake bouquet class. It's sixty pound. There's thirteen classes in there already. This is number fourteen. It's the final one. Um, it works out four pound something per class. <laughs> Um, and the classes are great they're yours to keep forever and we do from a free right the way through to a 75 bouquet in all the different sections we've done all different themes as well the ladies loved it last year because we did so many different themes um, and so and lots of different flowers in the classes as well so this week we'll be doing autumn colors we'll be using nifty nozzles we'll be using the rose swirl we're going to make some gerberas in there and we're going to do the 36 bouquet and it's in an 11 o'clock start then Wednesday night, I've got Karen on the calendar for doing the live, but it's myself because I'm going to be coming on and I'll be showing you the new set of nifty nozzles. So it's seven large nifty nozzles and one mini nifty nozzle in the set. So I'll be telling you more about that on Wednesday. And also we have bought the company Blossom Sugar Art. Now those ladies who follow me in my classes know that I love Blossom Sugar Art and I use them quite a lot and I'll be using them in the, in the cupcake bouquet class as well, which the ladies who've been in that class all year bought them. So they'll be really pleased that we'll be using them again. Um, I'll be doing some flowers with the Blossom Sugar Art range as well. So we bought that, we own that as from today and I'm very excited. So uh, yes, so come and join us on Wednesday night if you're not in the class. And then on Thursday, who's in the kitchen on Thursday? I think it's me again. So, <laughs> I think it's me again. So if it is, I'll be going through things again with the um, Nifty Nozzles and Blossom Sugar Art as well. I might decorate a cake actually with it, thinking about it yeah with both of them because they look really very nice i'll have a think anyhow so big thank you to rachel thanks rachel thanks thanks for having me uh, i know it's been a little while but i'll be back next month i wish you could have seen that she did a little skip up the I kitchen little... <laughs> oh yeah that's 
Thanks, Aaliyah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Trying to cut, clean up some of the mess. Cause... And thanks, Simon. Thanks, thank Simon. you, Carol. Thank and you, most Rachel. of all, thank you, you. So come on, get those love arts going. Start sharing the community group. Get all your friends to join the group. So um, I don't think you can, I think you can invite people to it, but I don't want you to invite. I actually want you to tell your friends about the group and ask them to join because lots of people invite people and then people are end up in the group and they didn't really want to be there. We only want people in the group that want to be there. Mm. Yeah? Definitely. Goody good. Right then. So five past nine. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Bye.